is the soft mulberry. This is one of our newer colours, and I love this oh, one. It's gorgeous. so gorgeous. Now, um, can I also answer uh, the microfiber? Once it's dry, could we sew with it? Can we do? Yes, project? you can. And because it's it's a lovely, nice open weave, if you want to thread count and do embroidery, you can do. Oh, um, yeah, you can. Uh, it's just so versatile, and I think that's another reason why we just love it so much. I mean, every project project that we try and do it seems to tick all the boxes so right you can see that um, I've covered this with pigment now when I'm at home if I want to have a um, a piece of fabric where it all blends I would hang it up with pegs um, on my washing line at home like yeah. that and the color would seep so the blue oh, would, it would seep drop down. through and drop down now that can be really effective and a, ni a nice technique but if you hang it on like that for too long all the color can drop out the bottom and you <gasps> can lose lose it all oh. so what I do is I hang it on the line for about 10 minutes then I turn it oh. 10 minutes 10 minutes and actually after about tw 20 30 minutes it's pr it's not dry but it's it's not going to yeah uh, there's no drop more anymore yeah. and then you can get really lovely effects so that's what i would do with the first one at home but obviously i'm not hanging it here so here um, i need my my t oh there it is my towel here i'm going to put the first one just on some kitchen towel now top tip if you are going to leave a piece of fabric on a surface to dry you should really put it on kitchen towel. And the reason being, you can see where this is pulled. Yes. If you don't um, have something to absorb that, this will actually show on your piece of fabric. Oh. Now that could be really effective yeah. and a really good technique. So again, it's something that's not necessarily wrong, it's just different. Mm -hmm. This one, I'm going to just bunch up lightly, like that, and I'm going to leave it to dry, like that. This one, I'm going to tie really tightly in my rubber band. I might have to actually dry this off outside for everyone because this one will obviously will take longer to dry because it's damp yeah. right in the middle. That's my third one. Mm -hmm. So we've got three different techniques of how we have used the pigments. Okay. And then obviously you don't waste what's um, on your... Uh, this is just an old bit of Bockingford. Okay. But you just pick yeah. up your extras and you start to make really lovely backgrounds which you can use for That's card, gorgeous. Pro yeah, card projects. We have got the details as well for the booking for uh, hot press cards. Uh, 300 GSM, 11 pounds and 99 pence for uh, 20 sheets of A4. Three, and you can see the item number there in the screen. Right. Okay, so I'm going to then work on the um, partridges. So mm -hmm. if I can just have a time yeah, to clear uh, we'll let you re uh, you go ahead and clean up Thank your you, surface and we will show of course the one day special over 20 percent of the one day special has already gone now that's the site that should last of course 24 hours because the one day special is launched on a 6 p.m and of course should last until 6 p.m the following day however 20 minutes in or half an hour of the first uh, hour we have got already 20 percent over our over 20 percent has already gone now what do you get you get the beautiful R work of one of the guest designers from Pink Ink Designs, of course, is the beautiful work of Alexandra Giku. Now, one of the things that I love that, you know, the Kathy and Mel work with other artists to bring you more variety, but also still you see the quality the intricate nature of the stamps, the element of true artist artistry. You can see the whimsical nature, nature, but also the beautiful sophistication. I always think that with these ones, it's the animals, but it is, they have an um, innocence, but also the character. And you can see that because it's true artists that draw all these beautiful illustrations. The way that you get side borders as well with those beautiful uh, snowflakes, those elements that you can bring to life and incorporate and layer them together. Look at that gorgeous in a pear tree. Look, it's almost like that sort of whimsical creature that comes to life when, when you stamp it and then you can accentuate each Look, little line. Look at the pair here. Look at how the wings kind of the feathers in here. All that detail. And look, 
a separate candle. Imagine a tag that you want to do. Imagine bringing those to life. Now, the way that you can use them is so varied because you can do decorations for the home in which, of course, these will make the most stunning feature points. Think about creating pieces of artwork, combining with other pink ink stamps that you may have, the hummingbird, the owl, but of course, the beautiful robin, the beautiful, of course, peacocks that are there here. The nature of these stamps means that they, you have got a focal point, one standing out stamp that commands the attention, that says, here I am, look at me. But you have got all the different elements in here to add those layers, to add those kind of interest backgrounds. Look at that. And of course, you are getting also these I completely agree with Mel. This is an all year round stamp, but also perfect for Christmas, maybe for the season of winter when you want to see a scent. Happy New Year. May all your wishes come true. And this is what this uh, beautiful stamp collection brings to you is the versatility for Christmas, but also all year round. Of course, it's the one day special from Pink Ink Designs. 854-323 is your item number. Remember, you have got a 10 pound saving, but you also have got that flexi-buy option to spread the cost into interest-free payments of 29 pounds and 98 pence. Moving on to also a brand new stamp set, but this one is from Natasha Gosha. Uh, now, a quarter of the stock has already gone for this beautiful imagery. Now, in here, you have got the, you know, Chris. Christmas, and I love that because I kind of think that they lend themselves to, inc you know, to create those stories, to build those beautiful kind of stories about the Christmas are. I did mice at Christmas. What are they up to? What are they doing? Are they naughty and eating a lot of, you know, chocolate? And look at the sentiments as well. Peace, love, and and joy to you and yours. The let it snow, the Merry Christmas uh, as well. And I love the fact that you can create a story. Be inspired by the imagery to create your own personal Christmas adventure. Uh, now, if you want to go for this amazing brand new bundle, uh, you can do that. Your item number is 780841. You have got the uh, saving of five pounds and 50 pence, and you also have got the option of flexi buy, which means to spread the cost in interest-free payments. Now, also very busy. We are very busy across the board, but of course the rice papers. Now the rice papers, you can choose whichever two packs out of the choice of the three. Now a third of the stock of the hair has already gone. If you want to grab yours, please do check out your baskets for that one plus whichever one. A quarter of the stock for uh, the uh, unicorn uh, has gone as well. And then we have got the 20% of the peacocks as well. So we are all very, very busy. And you have to say welcome to uh, those American viewers and as well European viewers that are watching from across the borders because I know you are enjoying painting designs as much as we are uh, here in the UK. Right, so can we join? Yes, I'm ready. I'm just, I, I, I would like to show this at the end of the hour, so I'm just giving these pieces that we um, did earlier just a little bit of a dry, but anyway. Um, right, where we're at with this, this is the microfiber. Um, I haven't painted this one first. Um, you could do the technique that I've just shown and then do your stamping on the top, but for the, for the demonstration, I just wanted to be, to be really clear what we were doing. So we've got um, the um, partridge. I love this design. It's just so pretty. And I just think, it actually, uh, you know, you could use it not at Christmas. It's just such a really decorative um, uh, illustration. So what we've done is we've got our stamp, and what we use is Versacraft. Um, I'm not sure if we've got any on the show this time, but um, again, the pigment of our choice for stamping on to fabric is the Versacraft. And the reason is that it's highly pigmented, um, it's permanent on fabric, but you can do um, this spritzing technique, which I'm going to do here. So this one that I'm gonna do here is how I achieved this. So I'm just going to get it in line. Um, and stamp. Now, when you're using big stamps, you really have to pay extra care to the centre of the yeah, um, yeah. Um, image so that it gets a good impression. The outsides are a little bit easier, but the inside is less so. 
Okay. Now, it doesn't look very much at the minute. So, if we wanted to keep it like that, I could get my heat gun or a hot iron, yeah. and I could, I could fix it and leave it, and it wouldn't budge. It would just set, stay as, as delicate okay. line work. Um, and I'm going to do the same again on this one, because one we're going to spritz and one we're not. So you can compare the two side by side. Once we heat set it, uh, it automatically becomes uh, waterproof? Yes, or? and you can launder it. Fabulous. Now, you can use other um, stamping inks. You can use solvent base, work on fabric. Um, quite often, solvent base, you do get a slight furry line, depending on what materials you use, especially if you're using silks. Um, you can use other water-based pigments, but they are not permanent on fabric like this one is. So again, you know, you can try what you've got in your craft stash, but you might not get the results that you require. So we're now stage one. Stage two is um, spritz bottle with some water in. Now I haven't heat fixed that. I would need to fix it if I didn't want the, the pigment to spread. So what I might do is just cover it because I do not want to get that one to get wet. And to achieve this, all I do is spritz it. Now, just the, the um, process of spritzing it intensifies the colour. So if you compare that to that, wow. see? Yeah. Yeah. that to that, it automatically starts to activate the colour. Now, what I could do is I could spritz, um, hair dryer that off or yeah. heat gun it off right now and it spreads no further at all. Um, or I could leave it and what will happen is it will keep spreading to this effect. So you have got a control of yeah. how much yeah, yeah. expansion exactly. you want. Exactly. Yeah. So um, quite often I, I spritz something and I might dry it off straight away or I might just observe it and observe it for, you know, five minutes and I might spritz or I just walk away and, and leave it really for, yeah. the, for the day and come back. Um, and sometimes if I spritz it and my ink pad is a little bit dry, I might go over it again and give it a second impression so it's got a li little bit more pigment. So you can see how it's beginning to spread and obviously the more water we add, the further it's going to spread. Um, actually, I'm just gonna dry this one off because I don't want to spoil this piece by this, the water spreading and um, spreading this pigment because it, it really needs to be in sequence for you to know actually how this um, how this works so again it's a bit like the painting you haven't necessarily got um, well you have got control but it's quite often a surprise and I think that's part of the joy of it yep. so this is now dried off and shouldn't spread so this is how I did this one so on this one my next stage is to intensify the colour and all I've done with this one is I have added um, a, just a deeper green so we're going to go on and then with a deeper green that's gorgeous. now that could be a, a fabulous runner for Christmas table runner yes or, or we've done I don't know if you can see the chair behind Ooh. we've upholstered a child's chair well I'm extremely clumsy today so I'm not sure if I'm gonna be um, I don't know uh, this is a little bit. Just tip it up. But if you can, can see that the, the process is exactly the same. So, mm -hmm. and you can see that some are more blurred than others. Some I've added more paint on than others. And, and that's what makes it such a lovely handmade piece because Beautiful. nothing, no two are, are the same. Yeah, they're, they're quite different. Fabulous. So, so, in order to intensify, I'm going to go over the top. Now, a lot of people worry. They think, oh my golly, I'm not going to line it up. And we always use um, a foam. Uh, um, foam feet um, a clip block yeah, yeah platform yeah. so what you do is uh, well I find points and I line up the points but because you because it's on the legs you've got room to yeah. maneuver and twist it a little bit and it's not the end of the world if it's not bang on in fact sometimes it can be really quite attractive if it's not straight on and again you want to yeah. give it a good impression yeah. Up it comes, ah, and that defines the image. That's gorgeous. So the next one along, um, I I then heat set it. So I don't want that dark green to move. I want it to stay static. I don't want to dry this one off because that's still spreading. Yeah. 
And have you can see time, all the details. Oh, we have got about 15 minutes. Oh, perfect. Because I don't really want to rush this because I think it's, you know, the process is quite interesting. Yeah, it's, it's just gorgeous. And I kind of say I love this image because it was, has got the pears there. But they are kind of almost hidden. So I yes. think that this is, again, an all-year-round image. Not it just is, well, I think so, too. I mean, it's got a nod to Christmas, but, um, and um, we've worked with Alexandra before, I don't, was it about a year ago, Mel, or, yeah, about a year ago, um, where she did some other designs for her, and we, we just love what she does. Yeah. And She's it was, very talented. It kind of complements your own artwork, because it's kind of, I would say, in the same family, but it's still different. Yes, yes, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Yeah. Um, so, the next one we did was I, f I felt it needed a bit of um, shading. So I could have gone in with a paintbrush and shaded it, but I didn't. I just went in here. Now, this is really to illustrate that with, with inking up, you don't need to ink up all of it. So all, all I did for here is I inked up that bit and that bit, and I've left the red. Actually, I think I might put a little bit of blue. It looks like I put a bit of blue on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little bit here... And I think I did here, but not on the body. Okay. Now, if somebody is watching at home and they think, well, they, they, they don't have this ink pads. Yes. Uh, could they do something similar by using dabbing with the multi-surface paint with a sponge to the stamp? Yes, you can. I mean, tomorrow we're going to actually show more painting techniques with oh. the multi-surface. Okay. But, I mean, you can try it with... Um, you know other water water based stamping inks but and and it'd be fine if, if it's a piece that's not going to be laundered it would be absolutely fine but um i think it's quite nice to have the option yes. that if you want you know if you had a bag and you want to to um you know yeah, yeah. you just want to be able to wash it. <laughs> wash it so i've got it there and i've got it there and then when i spritz this time yeah. i'm hoping it's just going to spread in the areas that i've selected so oh, there and there so I'm trying to get it looking like that's coming from behind so you can see how yes. it's like t uh, intensifying yeah. and then this will then spread like this so darker toes yeah. over there so I mean again if you wanted to stop it in its tracks you could um, dry it now and it will stop but we're going to let it go and do its own thing mm. next stage because um, we're getting to the paint the, the, the pink is the multi-surface paint you see yeah. so the next one is adding the paint so we finished with the with the um, inks um, and now we want to get our um, hot pink again this color has been with us right from the beginning it's such a good color um, and all I do is now, um, with, with painting, quite often when we've done um, demonstrations before, um, we use lots of water and paint within it. But on this one, we want to paint neat, so that when you paint it neat, it doesn't bleed. Some people get um, a bit anxious when um, pigment goes over a line. So what I'm going to do, in order to use it neat, you want to have a very damp, um, not very damp, it's, it's got to be a dry brush, but it has to have had some water on it. Because if not, and you put your pigment on, it doesn't flow. Oh. And it's almost like painting with glue. Yeah. So, so I've put it in my water, but actually I've taken... Most of it. Yeah. And actually somebody said last time we were on in February, Cathy, why do you keep dabbing your, your brush? I always have a, ha a tissue in my mm. hands and I keep dabbing. And they said, why are you dabbing? And I, I said, because I put it in, I take the moisture off before I go and pick my paint up. Because if I don't this pink is going to spread. So in order to put in my um, neat colour, and if you f think, oh my golly, I've got my brush, it is too wet, I've got too much water, and you start to see it seep, immediately blot and take the, the moisture up. So that's one way of doing it, but actually I want this to be quite intense, so I'm going to lay the paint on fairly thickly. And we've done, um, colour in the hair 
Oh, it's so nice to be back. Oh, it's so nice to you. have you back. And we, we, well, my producer just said, and I completely agree. Uh, it's so nice to you, you know, you, to see you in demonstration, dem dem demonstrations, because it's a, like an art lesson. Uh, and a step by step, so Aww. we learn so much every single time. So we are thrilled to have you back. Well, thank you. you. In the studio. Now, I just want to talk actually about shading because you might think, well, I've added water here to make it fade away. I've, like I said, I'm trying to make this that everything's used neatly. So if you're a beginner, um, you've got control, more control over your pigment. So I've put it on relatively thickly, and then to get it to fade might take some of the pigment off. So I've, I've got some pigment on my brush, but not a, uh, not a lot. You then sort of stroke the fabric with your brush and it kind of sort of drags paint over and that's how you can get it to fade. Yeah. And so when coming from the other side with a bit of paint, take the paint off and then drag. I always say it's a bit like just kissing the, the yeah. um, fabric. So you're just sort of dusting it over the top and I love how, how you can't really control it if you want to control or more you, you have got that option of applying a little bit of heat yeah. and when, once that you are happy with the uh, spreading so so quite thick and then not much pigment on my brush and then just kissing or, or dusting the surface or you can use your finger just to to spread and that sort of softens so that's another way of doing shading um, that's gorgeous. And we'll build up. Yeah. And that's the uh, beautiful colour that is on the multi surface paint. Yes. Which is. So this is the hot pink. The hot and, pink. and this, you know, once it's heat pressed with an iron, um, it's permanent on fabric, but it works brilliantly on papers, um, board, wood, MDF. You know, literally, I don't have any other pigments. This is what we have, and, and I use it on everything. Can you mix them together to create a brand new colour? Yeah, of course you can. You can you can mix them on a palette like you would any other colour, or like we have done with the, you know the demonstration earlier. Um, let them blend themselves. I mean, I th I think I was going to think it's really curious that I've used red and blue because I'm not quite sure. Well, we get purples, I think. Yes. Um, well, they will go very well with the papers because those ones are kind of purples and pinks and blues and. You know, so they could go work really well. Yeah. So I'm not going to do all of it because I don't want to run out of time. I want to get to the end one in this hour. Okay. So how much time have I got? Uh, six minutes. Oh gosh, right. Mm -hmm. I'm going to leave that one then. So that's how we would add the pink. Um, and to, like I say, to set it, you either use um, a hot iron um, or a heat tool. Okay. And then that's permanent again. That can then be laundered. And then, oh, I don't know if I've got my white mail, my white paint. Oh, white paint. Uh, a pan, one in the box. Oh, here. All right. Um, is it white or is it? Is it? Um, oh, we have got white. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Shall I go and fetch it? Uh, yes, please. Yes. There should be one just in there. I'll go. If I can opaque white. Uh, spare hole. Ah, yeah, yes, is it that one? Yeah. Lovely. So I'll leave it there. Thank you. I did bring one, but I'm not quite sure what I've done with it. Okay. Um, and then the white. So, so which one have I just... Oh, I've just done that yeah. one. So this is my next stage, is white. Yeah. And uh, white is the one colour I couldn't go anywhere without, uh, because this is where we start putting the highlights on, and yep. it's just it just lifts the um, design. So again, neatly... Um, and you can just put it on neat and leave it or you can do this um, like kissing stroking technique where you're sort of smudging it and and that's I mean we're getting pale pink and all I've done is put on white it's really opaque this it is white. it's lovely use it on everything you almost um, can use it as a gesso as well for other projects yes, yeah we, we use it as a gesso um, on MDFs um, when I'm doing um, dots on paper crafts you know sometimes um, a gel pen I don't think always gives a very good dot whereas mm -hmm. actually this on a brush does so I use it for that quite a bit yeah. and I love how it makes it like you were saying three-dimensional by adding the white yes. rather than the shade yeah 
you know, you, you, could, you could mix this and make the pink up on your palette, or actually I'm making a pale pink just by going over the top. I mean, this pink's already dry, but just by stroking it out, look, you're getting yeah. um, a really lovely pale pale pink yeah, and again if you if, if it's too much or you you think you've put too much on yeah. dab it off and you know you can always you can always take it off and then keep building up again yeah. now the one day special a quarter of the stock has already gone if you want to go for this fabulous new collection uh, your details are on the screen remember we are just uh, at the first hour, it should last 24 hours, but if you do not want to miss out, the only way is to check out your baskets. Remember that if you might want to go for an individual a stamp, uh, set, you, uh, we have got them individually. Now, they are 14 pounds and, sorry, 17 pounds and 49 pence each, and you can have them as well. But of course, remember that the saving and the flexibuy option is going for the one day special the all four sets there and the details for the full collection are on your screen now they are all fabulous designs so i would go for the full collection rather than individuals because of the saving as well and of course that includes the beautiful inner pear tree that kathy is using oh look at that i just love it how long have we I got? have got about three minutes. Three until minutes. The end of the okay. Show. So what I would do is I would just carry on and carry on building up the white. Yeah. The next stage is the sparkle, and in the um, bundles, each one has a sparkle to it, and it really is sparkly. Um, I think I used the silver on this one. I, this is just fabulous. Yeah. Um, the binder, it looks like it's just a grey, yeah. but it's not. Um, that's the colour of the binder. All you get with this, actually, is just the glitter that sits okay. on the top. Um, and my top tip also with the, with the glitter is not to use it too thickly. If you use it really thick, it's so thick, it kind of um, distorts the colour underneath. And actually, we want to keep the colour, see, yeah. we want to see the colour, we just want to accentuate it. So you will literally just um, mix it with some water fairly dilute, paint it on, and as the binder dries um, clear, you're just left uh, with this sparkle. Mm. And again, heat set it with an iron, and you can launder it. I mean, I've put it on jeans, um, put it on, it's fabulous if you stencil it through onto felt, and yeah, it's fab. Now, it's funny because from here, I'm, I'm two meters away from you, I'm from the side, I see it the one that has dried completely glittering and glistening under the lights it's absolutely stunning right have we got time to show the fabric we have got a minute oh quick <laughs> right i don't know if this probably is still too it, it well it's let's move this out of the way i don't want to spoil it so okay it's still drying but can you see we're getting oh, these yes. these oh, lines yes. as it dries that gets more prominent and, and accentuated amazing. Um, and this one, I don't think would have worked because it's nowhere near dry, but we'll just have a little peep. But can oh, you see? A little bit. Yeah, yeah a little we bit. can see. But again, yeah. it looks a bit like it's um, been tie-dyed. Well, it it's, is a bit tie-dyed yeah, because it's, you, you it's wrapped around. It's fabulous. And then Mel's is still, it's still dropping and seeping. But you get the idea of, of how, how this works. Then I grab so it. very, the, very different techniques. And of course, you can stamp on top of it. Look at that. This one, it was um, yeah. uh, Mel's. You can see it here. Well, the one Mel's was holding. And you, that's beautiful. And of course, you can achieve all those results if you go for the microfiber. Remember Thank that you. those uh, details are on the screen. Do join us, of course, at 8 p.m. Uh, of course, remember that Kathy and Mel will be back at 8. Uh, now, the one day special, we are very busy for it. If you want yours, do grab it. You need to check out your baskets. Uh, the item number is 854-323. You have got that saving of £10. And flexible option as well now of course and do check out your baskets i'll see you uh, in you know, an hour's time with of course more inspirational demos from uh, mel well kathy and mel uh, will explain it all Of course, after the break, we have got Julia in the studio, sentimentally yours, a Trudy Howard at Christmas. Then after that, Pink Ink Designs Christmas One Day Special is back. Hello, I'm Barbara. And I'm Julie. And together we're Scarlet Rose Crafts. 
We're a family run business, been in business for two years and our aim is to bring new and innovative new products to the crafting industry. We've both been involved in crafting industry for many years and we're continuing to move forward with our new company now. The Easy Mat Plate is our flagship product, uh, followed by our innovative Easy Shim product. Our range includes diamond trail plates, ultra-sized dies, cards and sticky sheets. We're constantly developing new and unusual products, so watch this space. On our shows, we hope to inspire you with our products so that you can carry on crafting, because our motto is, because we can. So don't miss the Scarlet Rose Craft Shows on Achanda. Did you know you can continue watching Hochanda 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, for free, using your smart TV? It's just like watching us on your computer or tablet, only now we'll be on your large screen smart TV. Follow these easy steps to get your smart TV set up. Firstly, make sure your smart TV is connected to the internet, either through a wireless connection, if your TV supports it, or via the Ethernet port on the back of your TV. If you're not already connected, use your remote control and select network settings through your TV's menu and follow the instructions to set this up. Remember to have your router's password to hand, whether you're using a wired or wireless connection. This should be on the side or bottom of your router. You can always refer to your TV's help menu or instruction booklet for more information. Once you are set up, press the Smart Hub dedicated button on your remote. This will vary between brands, but it's usually located at the centre of the remote. This is where you'll find your internet web browser app. Select this to open and then type hochanda.com into the search bar. And this will take you to our website homepage, which includes our live broadcast and access to previous shows. So now you can watch, purchase and catch up with your favourite shows 24 hours a day, 7 days a week on your TV, whenever you feel crafty. Hi, I'm Hayley from Craft Yourself Silly and we're really excited to still be working with you guys here on Hachanda. We were there from the very, very beginning and we're still bringing you lots of really exciting soft crafts. We design and manufacture all of our kits and all of our fabrics here in the UK and we love bringing them to you. So if you're an experienced sewer or you're just starting out in soft crafts and sewing, join us. There's tips and fabrics for everybody. Make sure you don't miss our shows and come and craft yourself silly on Hajanda. Hi, I'm Leslie from Chocolate Baroque and we design and manufacture our own rubber stamps right here in the northeast of England. We have a wonderful in-house designer called Sue who hand draws all the images which we then transfer into rubber stamps. We have very, very elaborate designs. We have everything from steampunk right through to beautiful florals. And then we have scenic and we have words. Our stamps are beautifully elaborate, very, very detailed, exquisitely etched, and the quality is next to none. So good that if you look after your stamps, we guarantee them for a lifetime. Whether it's stamping, mixed media, or art journaling, Join us at Hajanda for our journey into everything creative and messy and see what you can create with our stamps. It's here everybody, our Christmas event has begun, five days of Christmas at Hochanda and we are celebrating in style because we've got a whole hour sentimentally yours, brand, brand new designs from Trudy Howard, they are amazing, I do follow Trudy on social media so I had a sneak peek. Uh, someone else who is absolutely amazing is the wonderful Julia, hello. 
You're looking very festive. Well, yeah, I heard you earlier saying you've got, you got a special Christmas top. I have, but for tomorrow. For tomorrow, so I'm, I'm going to wear mine tomorrow. Oh. Because oh. I've got one. It's a Christmas off. So I tell you, there's a little story behind my top. So I bought my top especially, and I bought it in the Christmas sales, because I thought, I know we do Christmas yes. in summer, yeah. so I've got a special top, and it's been sitting in my cupboard waiting to be worn. I'm very excited You'd about it. You'd think they'd sell Christmas tops in July, wouldn't you, really? I mean, You'd think. You'd it's, think. I mean, it's a very popular time to buy <laughs> a nice, heavy jumper. Uh, okay, so look, we're talking uh, Trudy Howard. I love her work. Absolutely, and truly, I know you're uh, watching. This will give you an idea, and this is really nice because we get to see sort of the origins of the characters. Tell us a little bit about the release. Okay, so um, this is um, the first release from Trudy. First, it's two firsts actually. It's the first release from Trudy for Christmas mm -hmm. because um, she joined Sentimentally Yours last September. Okay. Well, it was the end of August, beginning of September. Yeah. So it's the first Christmas collection, and it's also the first collection with these characters. Um, and it, within these characters, you've got um, Heidi and Kai. Yeah. And you will see these characters cropping up throughout the years. So there's in other Heidi. Ways. There's and Heidi. There's, she's, you know, Christmas. she's got a Christmas jumper yeah. on. Yeah. And then Kai stood next to her. He's and a very he's handsome chap. Festive jumper. And then if you look at the other figures that we've got, we've got the the Snow Princess. We've got the mm -hmm. Snow Prince. We've got the Nutcracker and the Angel. They have the same faces as Heidi and Kai. They're mm. all the same size. The girls and the boys are the same mm -hmm. size as well. I like so they that. can send. A, they can tell you a proper uh, Christmas story. Nutcracker soldier. Yeah, in there, yeah. The or angel. you can use all the wow. girlies together. You know, you can make yeah. some really good scenes. And the, the, this set of um, pictures is something that Phil's done uh, for Trudy. Trudy's actually coloured these in and then he's kind of worked his magic and made these special pictures up wow. for her. Uh, they are the detail and the character that she's able to bring in. This is the start of the story as well and it's a very important story because what it does is uh, it's something that's going to be growing and mm. we're going to build on. So you've got these two, Heidi and you've got Kai and you're going to be seeing them go on more adventures uh, and uh, obviously now they're enjoying Christmas but mm. they're going to go, they've got plenty more releases to come. Now I've got to point something out, speaking of adventures, because we've started our Christmas event there is credit to be had. So, pay attention to the price because if you spend £30 or more on a show, uh, it's going to start tomorrow actually, I apologise if I start too early. So, you get the credit today, well, yeah, that's the thing, let me explain what I'll say. So, tomorrow, if you spend £30 or more, then it was going to kick in and you're going to get £5 credit to spend again the following day. No? Okay, here we go. So you've got your freedom price on there as well, £58.44 uh, uh, on there. So that's your freedom price. What I will say is this is brand, 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 brand new. Can I just show you some of the finished examples? Because these are stunning. So having a little look, and you can see that we have got our fantastic Kai. But look at Kai as the, the uh, toy soldier. And then you've got him. Now that's pretty cool. Look at that. What, the fir tree? Yeah. Yeah, that's on an extra set. So you can do some real scene building yeah. with this. Uh -huh. But you can see from that that each section there could yeah. be an individual card. Yeah. So it's up to you how far you go with yeah. it. Nice. This is one of Lozzie's. And okay. um, have a look at those embellishments on there. We do have the snowflakes on the show. They're new dyes from Phil. Mm -hmm. The poinsettias, the berry branch, and the holly sprigs will be on Phil's one day special tomorrow. This is nice. That's another one from Lozzie. We've only really got samples here from Lozzie and myself. Unfortunately, yeah. Trudy's haven't turned up yet. Okay. Uh, and Joanne's as well. But if you look on Phil's Sentimentally Yours page, he did put an album up yesterday with uh -huh. all the pictures. There's loads and loads of inspiration on there. And we're only really just touching the surface of what you can do with these. They're, uh, they're not necessarily the quickest cards to make, but they're yeah. very relaxing to, to colour in. Uh-huh. Just showing you here. They are. Look, that's a really good point because you've got a lot of space to colour in mm -hmm. and have some fun with your colours. Mm -hmm. uh, she's picked some cracking examples to start off with. Yeah. You say you've got the fairy, you've got the nutcracker in there as well, you've got the Christmas jumpers as releases go. And can I just show you the stamps too? If I pop these down, because as always with uh, Phil Martin, sentimentally yours, 
you will see that the actual stamps are bigger than the packaging suggests. So there's Kai. But it's not just Kai, because Kai's got his pooch in there as well, who uh, has got little reindeer ears. You've also got the sentiments, you've got the baubles, you've got everything. And he's got his little um, bone wrapped up in, as a present. That's very, that's very, very cute. And they are, they are A6 stamps, these that you're looking at. I know sometimes on the television it's hard to see what size they are, so they're A6. And so Kai is just shy of an A6 in height. Mm -hmm. So he's about, I, I, I'm in inches, he's about five and a half, five and three quarter inches high. Okay. Nice. Good size. Yeah. Really, really good size. Yeah, but not yeah. too big. Yeah, they are. They are yeah. That, I mean, you can see how well they work uh, with the actual uh, cards. And with with this set as well, yeah. you've got the, the trio there. If you if you're buying the big bundle, then you mm -hmm. get everything. But if you buy the trio, you've got the gifts galore, mm -hmm. and that has been sized so Let that if if Trudy there. and Kai, uh, Trudy, uh, Heidi and Kai stand next to the gifts, everything is proportioned uh. properly. And then when we look at the other stamps on the show, when you've got the fir trees, and you've got the post box and lamppost, everything is sized so that it looks right. You haven't got a very tall image and a very small post box. Everything looks the right proportion. Lovely. Now, the trio at the top is 3147. 392 uh, 559, your item number there, if you want to get a hold of those. So then we have our royals. Should we come in down here? 20 pounds and 98 pence for your royalty stamps. Wow. I have to say, that look, they look amazing. Absolutely amazing. That, he's very, very cool. I really like Kai there. Uh, and then we have our festive favorites. So you've got the angel and the nutcracker. Again, you can get them as a pair uh, for 20 pounds, 98 pence, 580227, your item number. But the whole bundle can be yours. Uh, at a great price. Uh, it's 64.93. Now here's the thing. You're getting the saving of eight pounds and fifty uh, pence. You're also getting a freedom price. 14.99 as a saving is huge. That is a great saving for a brand, brand, brand new release. And you've got uh, you still got your flexi payments with that as well. 58 pounds and 44 pence. And it gets even better because if you do make any purchase on the show, and apologies for the confusion earlier on, that was my fault. So if you make any purchase on the show uh, today, what will happen? And it's excluding freedom. That's the only thing. And you can find full T's and C's on our website. But if you make any other purchase excluding freedom tomorrow, then you'll have five pounds credit to use as long as you've got 30 pounds or more in your basket so uh, that's how it works just make sure if you want to take advantage of that uh, it's not with regards to a freedom price so if you want to go for the freedom here that's absolutely fine we've got other uh, items on the show that don't have freedom price that will mean you get that five pound uh, eligibility tomorrow to use okay so I think we are going to show you some snowy extras as well just having a little look now these again are stunning so tell us a little bit about these. So these are A5 stance sets, yep. so they're bigger than the character sets because you need your fir tree and mm -hmm. your post box and your lamppost to be in the right proportion for your figures. That's what they've been done like this. And you've, got, you've actually got three sizes of the fir tree, so that means that you can do kind of a scene and have trees in the distance if you want to. Mm -hmm. That snowman is tremendous. He's cool, right? That's snowy. So he's tremendous. And of course, you've got the little snowballs as well. So you can have a snowball fight going on with Kai and Heidi if you want to. That's great. Then with your, um, your snowy extras, uh -huh. you've got, uh, you can see what you've got. You've got the birdhouse, the post box and the lamppost. But then you've got little birdies. You've got some holly. Everything's in the right proportion. You've got letters. So Heidi and Kai can be holding letters that they're going to put in the post box, you know, that sort of thing. So you can mm -hmm. have some great fun scene building and making kind of Christmas stories with your kids if you want to that is oh look at now look at this so I, if you're did, looking for, I did that on a Facebook live yesterday this looks Thursday amazing. Today, yesterday so we didn't do all the coloring yesterday but I showed how to create the scene yesterday do, do we have a name for Kai's dog we don't have a name for Kai's dog oh, we need so, a name for Kai's uh, we might dog need a name yeah so any good ideas get them in any names and I'll pass them on I can't guarantee that will be the official name but we need to name Kai's dog very very cute dog or we've got snowy our snowman no, he's really well. cool. He's yeah. a character. Yeah. I love the little birdies as well. So obviously you can put your birdies on top of the post box if you want to. You can put mm -hmm. it on top of the birdhouse, the lamppost, whatever you want. You can have them standing mm -hmm. on top of Kai if you like, you know, Look whatever you like. at that. 
That is, now he is a really cool dude here. He's quite handsome, isn't he? Yeah, I love the cape coming down. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Yeah, a little bit of glitter on the, on the yeah. fir tree. But this is the important bit and something uh, I know Julia was keen to get across. The, the attention into the proportions, which that, that's what's going to really make the scene. So everything is being thought through. So all the elements, and you can see how many elements that you're getting. <laughs> A quarter of the stock's gone for this bundle, so we are very busy this hour. Uh, and the big bundle, 20% of the stock's gone. Ten minutes into the show, we have got more shows with the bundle tomorrow. Uh, look, everything is busy. Things to point out. With the big bundle, you have got a freedom price on there with a great saving. So do look at that. And you can split the price in half. Once you see the collection, and the more samples I see, the more I fall in love with it, we're going to be playing with this collection in just a moment. And a reminder that we have started our Christmas event, which means that you can get hold of some credit as long as you make a purchase on the show that excludes a freedom purchase. So it excludes uh, anything with a freedom discount on it. So as long as you make a purchase, for instance, we have got some great watercolor cardstock. If you were to get hold of the watercolor cardstock, it is a hot press cardstock um, we're just going to show the details on there but it is a very 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 good watercolor cardstock if you were to purchase that for 11.99 then you will have credit to use tomorrow as long as you've got 30 pounds more in your basket right julia what are we going to do for our first demonstration okay so uh, we're going to make a shutter card um this is um a card that um where are we going um, this is the card that one of the first cards that I made, but um, I didn't have Heidi at the time, so I had to wait to complete it. So a shutter card just means it, it means it goes like that. And so we're going to use quite a few elements from quite a few of the um, stamp sets that we've got on the show. But it does actually fold down and it will go into a C6 envelope. It will be a large letter because it's quite thick with card, but it will go into a small envelope, so it doesn't have to be a big card. And obviously you can pick out cert certain elements in there and make smaller cards if you want to. So just to, to uh, tell you how I made the blank, I've taken a A5 piece of the pure white card from Sentimentally Yours, and uh, popped, I've trimmed it down so it's 15 centimetres mm -hmm. wide. And then I popped it onto my scoreboard and it's just shy of 30 centimetres. So what you do is you just, I mean, I pretend there's a scoreboard under here. You jiggle it along a little tiny bit so there's an equidistant gap here between the edge and, and the edge of the card and then this edge and the 30 centimetre line. Hopefully that makes sense. Yeah. Then you score at, and I've got my little sheet here mm -hmm. in case anybody wants to take a snapshot. Um, then you score at 5, 10... Uh, 20 and 25 centimetres okay. and then you take that off your scoreboard. Yeah. Then you turn it this way and uh, you can use some trimmers or you can just draw a pencil line but you actually measure five centimetres in from one side and then you cut a, cut a gap in there okay. between the five centimetre and the 25 centimetre line. Then you do the same from the other side, five centimetres in and you, you, you cut again. And then you do mountain and valley folds, and then you end up with that. Right. That's how you do your shutter card. And you can do one with the full width of A5 if you want, if, uh, A4 if you want to. It's just that this here will be a, a different size, which is fine. It just means you get bigger images on. Mm -hmm. So that's how you do your shutter card. Yeah. So we're going to do a little bit of stamping, right. as you'd expect. And these are all the sets that I've used. Uh -huh. So we need some from all of them. Oh, Julia. So, what? I'm just thinking, when you get these home, how exciting to have, uh, especially if you're going for that big bundle, having all the characters. They are so cool. Judy, they're... if you're watching, can I apologise, because I know that we, it's just technical issues, we haven't been able, because we were going to talk to you today. I think we're going to try and do that tomorrow, but I know you're watching. Uh, I follow you on social media. You are incredible with your designs. And what you've done with Heidi and Kai, I think, is fantastic. Actually, could you do us a favor, Trudy? Because we would like to uh, just sort out the issue and, uh, and talk to you. It's not working with the landline. We need your mobile number. So if you could email studio at hochanda.com with your mobile number. Just Trudy, just in case everyone starts emailing me with their <laughs> mobile number. Um, we would love you to do that, and we'll try and sort something out. She may not be able to do that okay. because they don't have very good mobile signal where they are. Oh, uh, okay. And also uh, her other half may well have the phone. Okay. And he might not be anywhere so, near her. Well, if that's the case, Trudy, don't worry. We will try and uh, find a resolution tomorrow.
to speak to you, so don't 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 worry about it. Okay, so I've got uh, the two little pussy cats. I've got the um, the fish present that the pussy cats got, and I've got Heidi. Mm -hmm. I've also taken a couple of the candies from the Nutcracker. Yeah. See, so we, we use lots of different uh, sets here. Then from the gifts galore, I'm just going to take the two separate gifts. And we'll do those. I may well be able to get them all on here. What I, what I, di I did when I did this, because obviously I knew I wanted to demonstrate this, because mm -hmm. it's such a nice card to do, yeah. uh, even though it's quite time-consuming. Um, You've got so many elements. You've got so yeah. many elements. And I actually, you know, once I've got them on my stamp press, then, then I can, you know, just keep on stamping mm -hmm. and stamping. So, do you know what's lovely about this? Is that you've got your, your main sort of hero image, being Heidi or Kai, and I think Trudy's been so clever in obviously giving them different outfits. I'm yeah. excited to see what she brings next as well. Yes. I believe these are going to become collector's pieces. I think so, yeah, I think Collector so. Stamps. So I will need to do a few more in okay. a moment, but uh, we'll just stamp all these and then you can see how fantastic they are. Um, I'm using the Nocturne Versifying Claire. Now, what I, what I always do when I get Trudy's um, images is as soon as I get them, I stamp all of them out and then the next day I cut <laughs> what out what I want to use. That's the way I do it because... Sometimes I find that if I cut out second, I'll accidentally cut something off that I shouldn't have done. Yeah. So I would rather cut out I first. Dread, dread to think. Yeah, I know. Well, it's, well I've, I've cut the angel's arm off a couple of times. Because oh, okay. um, you can, if you cut the wings yeah. off the angel, she's yeah. just a beautiful uh, oh, girl true. with a with a holly yeah. um, crown. True. Oh, I've missed a little bit there. Oh, so. That's okay. That's the beauty of a stamp platform. Yeah, that's now, the beauty. There are look, there are some rumours going around, and you can put these to rest. So Kai, he's a, a handsome young man. He is a handsome young man. Is he in any way based on floor manager Matt? <laughs> I don't know if Trudy's ever seen a picture of floor manager Matt. Okay, so probably not there, Matt. <laughs> you can't go. Huh? But I don't know who. Certainly not based on my son, that's for sure. Okay. Because um, I mean, we we did we did talk about the fact there was uh, a lot of speculation and talk in the crafting community that Trudy's merman was based on myself. Now, I, I would thought say that they said he was based on Phil. Oh, was it Phil? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I started the rumours myself. <laughs> I was the one posting saying he looked oh, like me. Oh, bless you, bless you. So you see, I've got a really good uh, mm -hmm. set of images there. Yeah. Um, oh, one, uh -huh. one thing I would say about um, uh, the Versafine pairs as well uh -huh. is don't it, change them when, don't be tight like I am. Yeah. Change them when they need changing because yeah. otherwise... Uh, you know, get a new one, otherwise oh, you'll, yeah. you'll have to keep on stamping your images and you'll just waste loads of card or, cool. you know, There's it won't work round. Are, so are we using the, um, the super watercolor? Super smooth watercolor yeah. card, yes, that that's beautifully. It is, it is a very, very good watercolor card spot. And look, the important bit here as well, it's hot press too. So we know uh, the value of being hot press. So it's just a manufacturing process, hot press, uh, and the virtue of hot press, we can really flood that with water we and can. it will take it. Yeah, it's just and a you can keep on going color. back to it again and again yeah. and add, add more um, you know, depth to the colour yeah. of the image as well. I mean, so 20 the, sheets for 11 is good going. Yeah, yeah. So, so this is, um, because I'm using the stamp press, it's probably, probably need about an A5 piece to, okay. um, to do the whole of yeah. the... the um, the shutter card. All right. Nice. Heidi's got some sass. The way she she's has. standing. She's beautiful. Her hair is fantastic as well. Kai looks like the kind of guy at Christmas he'll pull out a guitar and be able to play. <laughs> he's a little bit too smart, really, isn't he? I think, oh, I think he looks <laughs> cool. He's the kind of guy, I think he's just a really nice guy that gets on well with everyone. So there's all my images, look, all stamped out. And look uh -huh. how beautifully they've stamped. And yeah, we, that's let nice. me just uh, cut this one yeah. out so we can see Heidi and Kai stood next okay. to each other. Mm -hmm. So you can see there, you can uh -huh. see Trudy's done all of the shading for you. She's done so many dots of shading on here to give you an idea of when we colour in where we put the darkest areas and they're just they're just beautiful beautiful images the you know doing the whites of the eyes doing the hair it, it, they're just fantastic has heidi got a cat heidi's got two cats 
She's got, she's got, she's got a, a Matilda. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to call it Matilda, uh, yeah. which is the name of Trudy's cat. And yeah. then she's got an Ed in the box, because oh. Ed likes boxes. Oh, that's seriously cute. <laughs> now, look, even if you weren't to use any of you, because I'd go straight to uh, Heidi and Kai, yes. you, you'd be instantly, and you'd be forgiven for wanting to go straight to those characters. But I'm looking at the sweets and the presents and the, uh, all those sort of worker stamps. Just for backgrounds, you could yep. create something fantastic. Exactly, and the, there is a card somewhere where you can use on the Nutcracker, there's um, a trumpet, and you can do some pattern building with the trumpet. Oh, I'll Make have a, to have a little yeah, look. Yeah, it is, it is there somewhere. Okay. So, what would, are you... Are you... Do, 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 should I talk a, bit, a little bit about the dice? Okay. Look, when we do Christmas, we go full out. We're talking brand new release, sentimentally yours, Trudy Howard, demonstrated by Julia. They are brand, brand new stamps. We've got fantastic watercolour cardstock, and we've also got these brand new dies. Now, uh, these are your elegant eyelets. You might be a fan of Phil's dies says so Phil started bringing dies out the minute he did it they became immensely popular so the double D boss uh, is his sort of signature but now he's expanding on the range they're the same size they will come on a magnetic sheet look at that for your nested actually should I just draw work okay I'll hold it here so you can see the size these beautiful ovals now if you did want to mix them in maybe you've got the double deboss oval what you can do and i'm right in saying this um julia we can because they're nested we could alternate from eyelet to the double d uh yeah the, the outside cutting edge of these yeah and and of the rectangles is exactly the same size as the outside cutting edge Excellent. on the double D. so we can still net nest yeah. the two together you can alternate. Mix and match. yeah amazing yeah. 35.99. Now I want to put this into perspective. When Phil brought you, and I was, I did the show actually. When he first brought you dies with that beautiful double deboss uh, detail, they sold out. They were immensely popular. I can only imagine these are going to go the same way. So we have got our oval. We've also got the rectangle, which I'm going to show you here. We're just going to change details, and then I'll show you an example of how good they are. So Phil is always looking to expand the range, but he'll only bring you something with purpose. He won't just bring out dies for the sake of it. They have got a beautiful detail to them, nested dies. You can feel the quality and the weight. They will come on the magnetic sheet. At $35.99, you're getting 12 dies and the A4 magnetic storage. But look at the size of the dies that you are getting here, and they will become a staple in your craft room. I will show you an example I've got one here using the dies and now how well does that look at the detail that you're getting so you've got that wonderful eyelet detail uh, there and a beautiful platform now Heidi looks amazing that looks amazing She's Seriously, beautiful, that is she? stunning yeah. but there is inside now this is where it gets interesting because using the other dies you can start telling your own story and isn't that nice she's holding the present in there as well but one thing i really want to just showcase at the moment is that wonderful detail that you are getting that nested detail what's interesting with the eyelet you've got the space so when you mat and layer imagine like having a contrast black behind would look very nice yeah absolutely you can do your frames you can do you, there's lots and lots of permutations i mean we we've only yeah. i only got these dies on monday so okay. you know in fact, it was Tuesday, I think, Tuesday, yeah, so um, not had much time to play with them yet, but they're going to be another staple. We've only just looked at them. I told you I did the show with Phil when yeah. we first brought you the dies, yeah. and they were busy. Yeah. We've looked at them for, what, two or three minutes? Nearly a quarter of the stock of both options have gone. If you are a massive fan of Phil Martin, sentimentally yours, uh, if you just want to expand in the range, you know how good uh, the quality is. They are both very, very busy, so I'm just giving that warning. Now, this is the first. We've got more shows with Julia and Phil. We're going to be featuring these. How long we have them? Mm. Right, we're going to move on. We have got the al oh, alchemy. You're going to like these. So, oh, and I've got to point out. So, let's say you went for the dyes, or you go for the alchemy, or you go for the watercolor cardstock. You've made a purchase on the show. As long as it is not a purchase that has a freedom discount, then tomorrow you'll have five pounds credit to use. Uh, as long as, so five pounds credit to use, as long as you spend 30 pounds or more. But what I would suggest, please go onto our website and see the full T's and C's so you're happy with everything there because we want you to be happy. Okay, now let's have a look here. 1996 for four pots. 
Glitter, uh, glitter alchemy, it's special stuff. Anyone's not seen it before, describe it to us. Uh, they're little uh, round discs of glitter. Mm -hmm. um, and the idea of glitter alchemy is that oh. you have a spare pot and you can actually mix your own glitter mixes. So right, Phil, Phil has done this. They're all solid colours, if you like. Yeah. So you can make your own mixes. So you can mix the gold with the, um, it's the navy, isn't it, that you've got there. So yeah. uh, you can mix those together and they make a fantastic mix. Obviously, your red and green and gold together are going to look fantastic on all of your Christmas cards. They're incredible. I've just opened up the gold. Let me see the, I want to go for the red. Let's have a look at the red. Now look at this. You can also dilute them down a bit. So if you're finding that they're a bit too bright for you, you can mix either oh, Diamond oh. Dazzle or Crystal Aurora into it, which are the, um, the clear glitters, yeah. uh, and then change it again completely. The, okay, these are, they look so good, and I, I'm watching like you on camera, but to the naked eye, they look even better. So when you get these home, really nice festive colours as well. So we've got our reds, our greens, our blues, and the gold. All four of those for 1996. Uh, we do have some pearl embellishments as well. These are really nice. Once they've gone, they've gone. And do you know what I love about Julia? Doesn't mess around. Just straight to it. Once it's gone, it's gone. I had so, to beg him to give me some pearls. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so what now? What what is it about the pearls? The well, you've got you've got your silver and your gold, and then yep. you've got your ivory. Your ivory is going to be the perfect colour to go with your um, your super elegant. smooth watercolour card. Yeah, I'll just. They are flat backed as yeah. well, so uh, you won't have any problem sticking those down. Let's just have a look. So there's the uh, that was a pearl. I'm going to go for the gold. Ooh. It's quite unusual to find gold and silver pearls. Yeah, so I'm for our Christmas makes, and that's the whole mm. point. We are celebrating five days of Christmas. And for weddings Alexander. as well. Yeah, weddings, anniversaries, a... special birthdays, Julia any occasion knows. really. Julia knows. Okay, so there we go. All three of those. Fourteen ninety-seven. I know there's price. not many. Yeah. There's, there's a lot in the pot. Mm -hmm. There's about four hundred in the pot. Yeah. Each pot. Fourteen ninety seven your price five uh, six two three nine one your item number. Now we have a sparkle triumvirate or trio as we like to call it. Uh, <laughs> so having a little look here. Ooh, we're getting the good stuff. So I'm, I'm going to go straight here. So this is your Aurora crystal, which you talked about mixing the Aurora crystal with the discs. Yeah. So that that oh. one's got the. Um, Aurora Borealis in it, so it's, it kind of changes colour. Your Diamond Dazzle is, is just your clear glitter. Mm -hmm. And then I asked him to put the Rainbow Crystals in as well, because your Rainbow Crystals is going to go fantastically yep. on uh, Heidi's hat and a little cat's hat. And it's going to be nice for your snow as well. Yeah. So, so it's your fine one. Okay, there's your Aurora. Let's have a look at the uh, Diamond Dazzle from there as well. Have a look there. It just says snow, really, doesn't oh, it? Oh, yeah. And then we have the rainbow crystals. Oh, let's have a little look. <laughs> What's struggling a bit? I got it. It's because it wasn't opened. That's why. That's my favourite glitter. I absolutely adore that glitter. Oh, Julia, look at that. Ooh, hoo, hoo. That's going to look fantastic. Sprinkle on top of all of your wet mm -hmm. texture paste. Yeah. Now, we're going to be showing you some pictures. When we come back after the pictures, I am going to mention something. I'm not going to do it now. You're going to have to wait, see the pictures, and we'll mention something, and you wait to see how busy we're going to get. Let's take a look at the pictures. So these are so Aha, oh, Trudy, thank you so Trudy, I'm so sorry. We had a thing and I'm not going to mention who, but a delivery service, they said they delivered these to us. We even had a look at the security cameras. They lied. They did not. We did not get a delivery. But you can see here, beautiful, beautiful inspirations from Trudy. So whether you want to embellish a bag, fantastic. If you want to put Kai and Heidi together with the presents. Now, something to point out, and it's a big feature that Julia was talking about, it's the sense of scale. So they all work beautifully. All the stamps, all the uh, additional stamps Look that we've at got to show. That little mouse on top of the—that's uh, uh, in the Nutcracker set. That little mouse that's on, sitting on the shoulder. That's Fantastic. Cute. Yeah. So you've got. It is, and I wish you could see Julia's smile on her face. When Julia get, and I always pay attention as a presenter, Hochanda, I pay attention to the guest, and you can see when they're excited about a release. Trust me, 
Julia is excited, and I'm so glad everyone at home is as well. Nearly a quarter of the stock of the complete bundle has gone. Look at that if you're a Freedom member. The saving is a Freedom member, even if you're not a Freedom member. But $14.99 and two flexi payments of $29.22. So that means you get the full release for $29.22 today. Uh, one thing I do want to point out, I'm just going to turn one around. I like the angel. Look at the sense of scale. Because you can see that's the packaging. There you go. $64.93 is your price. Okay, going to turn that around. Uh, we're going to get back to Julia. Now, Julia, I said I was going to mention something. We've got these beautiful stamps. Mm. We're going to want to color them. We are. If only we had something to color them that was cool. What, what could we use? Have we got it? I'll tell it? you what, let's use watercolor blending brush pens. The only reason we have these on the show, it's down to Julia, who begged, pleaded... No, I told him. Okay, told... <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. No begging or pleading from Julia. She just told him. Uh, we're going to have these on the show. So these were actually held back specifically yes. for the yes. show. The, um, the, this is our set three of the watercolour and blending yeah. brush pens, which uh, I launched when we did uh, Trudy's Roaring Twenties collection, okay. which I think was only last month. Yeah. Um, and uh, a quarter of the year stock, so three yeah. months worth of stock, mm -hmm. has virtually gone. Wow. So, so this is the last of it. So I, I, I said to him, there's no point us doing colouring shows if yeah. we haven't got any pens. Um, so, yeah. This Once is... that's gone then, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you, you have been warned, if you're watching right now, get a hold of it because we sold out. I mean, in an hour, I think. I think he's, he is going to bring some more in, but not many. When we release okay. set four, yeah. then he'll bring a few of the sets one and two and three oh, back. Okay. But then that will be it. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. We're going to start using it, and you'll see how well it works. Now, I seem to remember, I'm, I'm dredging my memory bank, but the beauty of this set is you've got lots of great skin tones, too. You have got skin tones. So mm. if I bring in my little swatch that I did when, when I got my set, um, so you can see I've just arranged mine, and I arranged them before I actually uh, swatched them, mm -hmm. so they're not necessarily graded properly, but I keep them in the same place so that I can go into my... Um, my, my uh, pack and actually bring out the colour I want. So this is the one that I use for skin tones. But obviously you've got some darker skin tones here that you could use too. Um, there's nothing stopping you from doing that at all. Um, so yes, yeah, skin tones and you've also got, this isn't a black black, the actual mm -hmm. proper black is in set one. Okay. So this is like a grey black. Yeah. Uh, and then this, this kind of olive colour, there's a darker olive colour in set two, mm -hmm. so you can obviously blend the two together. There is no duplication between the ones that are in this set and any in the previous set. Brilliant. These are the colours that I've used in that gatefold card for the angel and the um, snow oh, princess. So, yeah. And um, well, they coordinate cool. with some papers that Phil's going to be launching on his one day special tomorrow. So yeah. there's a lot coming this weekend because I've got shows now yeah. and then Phil's coming in tomorrow. We, we're kind of Show mixing anything. and matching a little uh, bit. Just going to show you, the, the, um, so this is the inspiration that Julia was just talking about. So she used those colours. Now have a look at that. Work so these stamps, the, one of the biggest joys of the stamps is the fact that you're going to get uh, have so much joy um, colouring them in. You but are. Look at the quality of these. The brushes are incredible. I'll let you yeah. demonstrate them. Yeah, OK. You. So we're going to so do a little bit. I'm not going to do loads of colouring in. Okay. Uh, I do want to mention, actually, on the Gifts Galore um, stamp set, which if I grab it, if I've got it here, mm -hmm. Trudy's been very, very uh, sensible, and I, and I know it's bigger than this, but mine's a little bit dirty. But when we look at the actual images here, mm. they're all, um, they're, none of the presents are actually overlapping each other. Yeah. So they can actually all be used as individual items and you can chop them down like on the card that uh, Trudy sent the picture in of. Um, she's created her own design mm -hmm. from these just by rearranging how she stacked them up. So that's very, that, that's very good for de any decoupage that you want to do. There's n for me, there's nothing more frustrating than having things that overlap and you're only having half yeah. of something. And so that's been, uh, that for me is, is, is absolutely brilliant. Okay. So let's grab uh, the red. So this is this lovely kind of deep crimson red, mm. um, like a claret red. And um, the bright red is in set two. And I'm just going to follow. And I'm... 
I say this all the time, and I know I probably shouldn't, but I am not the world's best colourist. I look at uh, Trudy's colouring and I just, you know, but she's been doing it for a long, long, long time. She's incredible. Um, but I've seen the detail that she's put in the stamps too. Yeah, it's tremendous, isn't it? Are so you following the shading? I'm just following the shading, just with so, just straight, straight from the pen, neat mm -hmm. from the pen. And... Um, it won't necessarily. Sometimes I get away with it, and I can and I can go, get away with only doing one coat. And sometimes I need two. Sometimes I need three. It just depends. Um, but really, just take it nice and easy, easy and don't mm -hmm. worry about it too much. Right. And then I'm going to say, in this kit, you've got two water uh, water brushes, and they're yeah. both medium tip. Okay. You've got a flat tip, and you've got uh, a pointy tip. Nice. This is for set three of the pens. Yep. So these come not in the kit with the stamps. These are the pens by themselves. In the, yeah, it come, yep. they come in the, in the pens, yeah. Yep. Um, and I've actually been using this medium tip for everything because it goes into such a fine point that even things like the little uh, elves' eyes on the jumper mm. and, and uh, the, berry, the, you know, the little um, scrunchies that she's got in and on him, uh, he's got little berry, uh, berries on his holly on his jumper. Mm. I've done it all with the tip of this water brush which is quite amazing really so just moving the color can you see yeah, how yeah. the water is just you know dragging it from one side to the other uh -huh. and on the card it's just it's just working really well these pens work like a dream don't yeah they? they really do so find if you go back up again oh, I man. might not want to do that but that, that's already working out quite nicely yeah, I think so Obviously, if you go for a second coat, you're going to get a depth of colour. It just depends on how you want it and how well you've done with your lines. But what I would suggest that you do is you actually leave this now to mm -hmm. dry and go into a different area. Mm -hmm. And if you're going to work in the area next to it, don't do that until this is dry because they might bleed into each yeah. other. So what we'll do now is, is we'll, we could, let's just do this, this hat so we've done all the red together. And don't forget you've got um, your kind of woolly bit there um, or your um, furry okay. bit. Just uh, watch your head there, Junior. My what? Sorry, it was the head. Just... Yeah. You see the fact that I haven't had my roots done. I might have had my hair cut, but I didn't get my, mm -hmm. my highlights done. Right. So we're just going to grab in a little bit of this and move that around again. It, it is better to have it a little bit lighter in the centre because, you know, remember Trudy's told you where the shade is, so you want to have it darker where she's given you the shade and lighter elsewhere. And already she's looking festive, isn't she? Nice. Now, for the hair, for, for, I've tended to do them all the same, um, although obviously they could be different. I'm yeah. just a bit of a creature of habit. I'm going to use this light brown here and I'm going to use this sort of yellowy colour here but I'm only going to do direct pen I'm not going to use the the, um, the water brush at all so I'm going to take the the lighter brown first and just follow but see, see I'm not not being specific with it uh -huh. I'm just roughly following the lines yeah. nice uh, pens are very, very busy. They always are. Uh, what I would say, and last time we, we noticed this, the pens, once they've gone, they've gone on this occasion. You might see them later a day, uh, but I don't know if we're going to be able to add any more stock. Very, very busy for the pens. So, so if you did miss out on the pens last time we brought them to you, what, I mean, look, what is it about the pens, Julia? I think it's the, the fact that with. they you can blend them with a water brush, but they blend with each other as well. Yeah. So I'm going with this um, lighter colour here, and it just mm. looks like either the sun's catching her hair, or um, she's got highlights, you know. So um, it's what it, what what it would be normally, really, you know. All right. This is why I was a little bit worried because a third of the pens have gone. We are back tomorrow. Uh, you're back in the morning tomorrow I've at got 7 a.m. 7 and 11 tomorrow. Whether we have stock of the pens tomorrow morning, we can't guarantee that because uh, all we know is that the only reason we got the pens on the show this time is that Julia thought ahead and she uh, told Phil, look, we have to hold some back for the Christmas event. 
that's it. We know what we have. And once that's gone, I think that is it. So uh, please don't miss out on those pens. Also busy for our complete collection. Also busy for our uh, the dies, so brand new dies. There are so many brand news on the show today. Brand new event, our Christmas event as well. So make any purchase on the show. Then uh, tomorrow you will have five pounds to spend. Uh, just make sure you've got 30 pounds or more. The only thing it excludes is freedom membership. So if you buy freedom membership, and I, I misspoke earlier on, so I apologize. I was saying about the freedom, if you had a freedom discount, it doesn't. It's just freedom membership. So if you were to go for the complete collection as a freedom member, you can still take advantage of the five pound credit to use tomorrow. So that was my mistake. Uh, we also have uh, two flexi payments. Well, let's think about this with the flexi as a bundle, because then you can add in other elements uh, to that flexi order as well. So have a look, make sure it works for you. We will continue with our demonstration. Okay, so so um, that's all the colouring I'm going to do because uh -huh. um, it takes a while. It does take a while. I mean, I would probably just just accept that as it is. You know, that looks fine to me. But you can build up the colour if you want to. But looks you can see great. her hair looks looks fantastic. So here she is already coloured in, and she's got green leggings on here, and we've got Kai as well. So I just we could make them a couple. If you want to make yeah. a card for a couple... See, see the, you know the card that you pulled up with the post box yeah. uh, that I said was a Facebook Live? Yeah. So, so what I thought was that, um, you know, what they've done is, is Kai, Kai's gone to the post box mm -hmm. and he's got um, a card, a Christmas card to send to Heidi. And when he arrives at the post box, Heidi's there and she's got uh, an envelope and it's a card for Kai. Uh, but she's got a little heart on the back of hers and she's a little bit embarrassed when she sees them at the post box so she hides it behind her you know her but, back yeah hi hides it uh, behind her back you see so well, you and do you know what happened can i if, guys <laughs> if i just i'll just show you this um this is the card we're talking about this is what's happened julia so everything that you're saying they've both posting cards for them heidi's a little bit shy because she's got a heart on her card there I think they first started talking, and it's all down to his pooch. <laughs> so Kai was taking his dog for a walk. They bumped into Heidi. Uh, they got talking. Maybe the dog ran over there. She gave him a little bit of a stroke. They kicked it off, and now it all began. Mm. Mm. They're saying storytelling. But it that's what story. that is a sign of an incredibly well designed stamp because what Trudy's been able to do is bring life to these characters, and that is not an easy thing to do. Trudy, I, I think you're incredible. Right, so we're actually going to just stick it. I've got all my elements all coloured in. Um, like I say, it does take a little while. Um, so we're going to start sticking them down. So Kai's going to go on this side, just with the Sentimentally Yours glue. And it, I could give him a letter to hold, um, but I'm not doing that in this point. You know, I'm just going to replicate the card that I did in the first place. Okay. So the papers I've used are again on uh, Phil's sh uh, show tomorrow. But the card is on the pick and mix, which is on this show. And I've used the um, forest green, I think it's called, yeah. and the sumptuous scarlet. Oh, they're good size characters, aren't they? They are good size. And then we've got the pooch. Now, of course, with the pooch, um, it could be Dave, couldn't mm. it, if it's a different colour. Uh, you can mm. actually cut the antlers off if you want to. If you don't want to use him for mm. Christmas, you could use him another time. Dave, if you're wondering, is Leonie's pooch. Yeah. He's, he's very only, cute. Yeah. He he brought, do you know what? I saw him a while ago. He brought me a toy. It's the first time he brought me a toy. Oh, very cute. bless him. Do you know, um, they, Leonie's dogs are so well behaved. When I used to do workshops, she yeah. did actually bring them with her once when she had Dylan yeah. as well. Oh. And um, I can't remember which one did it, but one of, one of them wandered around everybody's um, lunch to see what yeah. they had. Yeah. Um, and then once he realised it wasn't that interesting, he, he, he gave up. And then the other one just slept the t whole time. They were yeah. so well behaved. Yeah, so this is Snowy. Now, I like when you, Snowy. Yeah, he looks like he's melted a little bit. Yeah, maybe. He's, he's, he's got my trouble. Is that he's got locked down at half stone on. <laughs> um, so when you're doing him, just remember <laughs> that when you're going to yeah. fold it, you're gonna, you, you want to make sure that his, his hat is behind this yeah. particular section here. Okay. Of course, if you've got a bigger section in the middle, he yeah. could go in the middle. Nice. And just be careful of his arms. Make sure his mm. arms are, are actually glued down properly. The sno snowy, snowy could do his own seat. He would look fantastic if you, um, say, stamped him in a, like a blue oxide, say, mm. um, 
stormy sky or faded jeans and then pulled the colour out mm. but left it on your stamp press. How am I doing here? No, uh, no, I'm not doing it that way, am I? I'm forgetting where I'm going. It's that way. Um, left him on your stamp press and then stamped again with, say, a Versafine Claire or an Archival on top yeah. after you pulled the collar out. I think that would look really good. Yeah. Get rid of the glue off there because I didn't mean to do that. Okay. Okay. Then we've got, there's on Kai's set, he's actually got a sentiment. Mm -hmm. um, and then also Heidi has as well. She's got Ho 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 and he's got Merry Christmas. Oh, I'm having a look. I mean, e each of the sets, there is so much going on. So you've got the little rat dog bone in Kai's set. You've got the Merry Christmas. You've got the Ho Ho Ho, uh, the presents in the complete bundle. And you're seeing that on your screen. 67 stamps in total. These aren't ordinary stamps. They're sentimentally yours, so you know the quality that you're getting. They are photopolymer, uh, and they're the thickest uh, stamps. I mean, it's photopolymer. Yeah, four, four millimeter yeah. photopolymer. Yeah, they're top quality. So I haven't bought any copy paper with me, so I'm going to grab my glit glitter and put my glitter in there because okay. remember I put quickie glue pen on her hat. Right. And I forgot to do it on the cat, so I'll I'm do the sorry, cat I later. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't. This is where I'd be helping out. I know. I know. I know. We're getting there, aren't we're getting, we? Annie? Slowly, we're getting closer. Closer. Yes. It seems like we're getting like a, a every couple of months we're getting a, a, a few feet closer. It's almost like we've got a chaperone or something, isn't it? <laughs> That's it. Now just be careful with her pom pom. See, okay. I, you could put, if you put Kai, uh, Heidi that side, you're going to have a mm -hmm. pom pom uh, yeah. getting damaged. So if you have her this side, just remember not to glue it down. Mm -hmm. So a nice pom pom. Yeah, nice pom pom, nice glittery pom pom. Mm -hmm. I'll do the cat afterwards. Matilda, we're calling the cat. Oh, oh I'll put glue on, on there anyway. Okay. Get carried away. Okay. Nice. And I think Phil's got the glue bundle on the show yeah. as well. Now, we have got, uh, were you just saying we did have Phil's glue on the show? Yeah. Yeah, but you, do you, you're not a talk back, are no. you? No. Oh, you just read Lottie's wine. She was just telling me the same thing. <laughs> uh, so if you do want to get hold of Phil's glue, 1996 uh, is your price. 204 213, your item number. And I've split up the ho ho ho. Let's put a bit of glue on a, on a few things mm -hmm. now. Uh, split up the ho 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 into three separate words because I can do that. I've got the little letters that come in the extras set, and I've got the one with the heart on as well, which yeah. I've edged with vintage I think photo. All these elements you're going to be playing with in the one set. Yeah. So we're going to have the. Sorry, I have to keep moving it because okay. my bits. So. We're going to have this all really jaunty. If you have things jaunty, then you don't have to worry about getting them straight. Yep. So we're going to have this here. I want this. Yeah, that one. That one's going to go there. It's quite a lot of fun. Do actually, I thought, but I, obviously I ran out of time. Mm -hmm. It would be quite cool to have all these panels um, instead of pattern paper actually having them in the uh, watercolour card and what you could do because you've got six characters you could actually just have their heads popping in yeah, and out on the different I think idea. that would be really cool that that's a great idea I know. love to see that I know so would I oh, it's not going to happen but <laughs> All right, as we're put, uh, doing this, because I'm, I'm just noticing the time, we, we've got plenty of time, don't, don't okay. rush, but I, I'm seeing that uh, we are slowly getting towards the end of the show. So, things to point out. The dies, brand new release with the eyelet detail. You've got two options to go for. The oval, which we're just going to flash the details on your screen. Both are very, very busy. Thirty-five ninety-nine. They come with the magnetic storage. Uh, if you've ever used Phil dies in the past with a double D boss, you'll realise the quality that you are getting. These are incredible. I love that eyelet detail because they give you uh, that gap to look through, and you can make it a feature. Fire zero five five seven nine zero. Your item number. They will work with the double D boss nested dies that Phil's brought you in the past. We've also got the rectangle as well. So it's your elegant eyelet rectangles. Twelve dies in total, but it's the size and quality of the dies that you get with Phil. Uh, you also have the magnetic storage there as well, the A4 magnetic storage, $35.99 your price, 480-286 your item number. The pens, the pens, oh, we are massively busy for there's, there's the third release, so this is set three, 24 brush pens. You're also getting the two water brushes in there as well for $29.99. The quality is exceptional. 
Nearly half the stock's gone. This is only the first hour. We know that a lot of viewers do shop overnight and in between shows. So realistically, if we do have uh, the pens tomorrow morning on the show at 7 with Julia, we are not going to have a lot. Also, the pearl embellishments, another thing that Julia was saying, once they're gone, they're gone. Uh, and she really did work very hard to bring these on the show. Fourteen ninety-seven, gold, silver, and ivory. Oh, nearly half the stock's gone here as well. Uh, and the only reason I'm, I'm, I make that noise is because I know Julia has got shows tomorrow, Phil's got shows tomorrow, so if you want to get a hold of these, please don't miss out. 562-391, your item number. And let's not forget our main bundle, the brand new release from the incredibly talented Trudy Howard. And what she's done here, I think, is incredible. The characters, so our main characters, Heidi, uh, you've got Kai there, and then we get to see them in their different guises. So we've got our royalty here. Look at the size. Now, the only reason I've turned that one around, because I don't want you to think, as the packaging suggests, I don't want you to think the stamps are this size. This is the size of the characters. But look at all the other elements that you are getting. And that's on all the stamps. So if I turn around the Nutcracker, look at this. What a beautiful, elegant nutcracker. But then you've got uh, the drum in there as well. You've got the sweets. You've got the sentiment. I think this guy, Kai here, is incredible. That is such a cool character. There's a magical essence to it. Same here with our Snow Princess. So you're getting so much to play with. Then you've got your presents here, and then we've got our uh, two Christmas characters that we're seeing as well. Let me just whip those around so we can have a little look, and your presents. But you see how many stamps you were getting, the size, the quality, uh, and the story as well. 67 stamps uh, there, and you've also got two flexi payments, and you've got a Freedom discount as well. And any purchase on the show, as long as you're not buying Freedom membership by itself, so it doesn't matter if it's a Freedom discount, just not Freedom membership, membership if you make any purchase on the show tomorrow you'll be able to use five pounds credit you just have to make sure that it's a 30 pound basket excluding discounts and pmps 30 pounds in your basket you take five pounds off that okay how are we getting on right so i've, I've virtually glued everything down actually because i mm -hmm. got a bit carried away so we've got if we see we've got here we've got we've got the little um Cat is, is sitting at uh, Matilda. She's sitting at um, Heidi's feet. And she feet. fits nicely there. She you fits see, she really doesn't nicely. By her feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've put a little bit of quickie glue pen on there for the glitter in a moment. Mm -hmm. You've got we've got the little gift there for with the little fishy gift that that she's obviously having a really good look at. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. And uh, he's got his his eye his on dog. the bone, but you know he's a dog, so he's probably looking in the wrong direction anyway. But Do you know what uh, I'm thinking, Julia. Now I know one of the cats you're saying would. You could call Ed. Yeah. Uh, our lovely Paula. Now she's got oh, wasabi. She's got wasabi. Yeah. So what we could do is we could give Heidi some darker hair. Yeah. Oh, and absolutely. Then wasabi. He's got lovely color tones to it. Yeah. And suddenly you've got a little Paula exactly. character. Exactly. You you can do these. That's the beauty of having any stamps is that you can change them to fit whoever situation. Mm -hmm. So so um, my daughter's got my color hair, and then mm -hmm. her partner's got dark color hair. So on that. So like post box card, I could actually yeah. make that same card, but change the colour of Kai's hair and give that to my daughter and her partner for Christmas. When you see, I mean, that, I love this inspiration. And do look, please follow Julia, follow Sentimentally Yours, uh, and follow Trudy on social media to see all these beautiful makes. But as you go through and start to appreciate with the characters, and something else to point out, it is that sense of scale as well is it, that you were getting i mean obviously phil's been involved in in the putting the stamp sets the together gem, and yeah. he's 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 done a, a bit to the 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 size of, of things but obviously trudy's got to draw them so that they can be sized mm. you know it's not something that you know not all stamps can be made larger or can be made smaller it's it's um it's a a team effort yeah, I, that's that pattern through. building i mentioned to you with the trumpet and use the, the little sweeties as, as embellishments, as your pearls, you know, in the corners as well. Did you do that one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what, that is very clever. I've seen you do the technique before, I love it. Yeah. Can I show you this one as well? Because we, I think yeah, the theme of the, it, it is storytelling. And, no, it's, and it's important to realise that, I mean, I, I probably ought to add another couple of areas to that, but, you know, each section there of the three could be an individual card. Easily. But look, I mean, such cool poses, yeah. fantastic character in Kai, and I, I'm really looking forward to seeing how the characters develop. Yeah, and where. Because so I'm thinking now, we've got Christmas, what if Trudy was to take them on holiday? 
and yeah. suddenly you see them on they the beach. They could have like hula skirts You and could, things going like aboard that. like yeah. Cameron. Yeah. A quarter of the stock of the big bundle has gone, and this is only the first live hour. So uh, thank you so much for joining in. Uh, now, I've got to tell you, the extras, also very, very busy. Nearly half the stock has gone of the extras, which you're seeing here. So you're getting all of these stamps. Twenty-eight ninety-eight. your price there. If you made any purchase on the live show uh, today, Remember, tomorrow you'll be able to use your £5 credit as long as you've got £30 or more in your basket. The only thing it excludes is Freedom membership by itself. So Freedom discounts are fine. Thank you so much, Julia. Thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. So we've got another fantastic look at our one-day special. We are talking pink ink designs, Christmas. Uh, after that, craft yourself silly, a happy hour, and then another look at our one-day special with pink ink. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But good news freedom membership has remained the same at $19.99 what that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month you could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either so it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda now shipping again to you out in America so take advantage of that make sure you become a freedom member though take advantage of that saving Would you like to improve your crafting techniques by watching and crafting along with your favourite Tachanda guest demonstrators, all from the comfort of your own home? If the answer is yes, then we are very excited to invite you to Craft Along, where you, our presenters and guests, will create an amazing array of projects throughout the year. So tune in, be inspired and create with Craft Along, your monthly crafting workshop. Hi everyone, I'm Phil Martin. I've been a paper crafter for well over 20 years now and a designer for just over 10 years. Sentimentally Yours is my multi-award winning brand of clear stamps, rubber stamps, I've now also introduced lots of craft dies in there, designer papers, I have my mediums where we've introduced the Flawless Media brand into the Sentimentally Yours family. So on our Hope Chanda shows we aim to inspire you, to be educational and to teach you how to get the most from the products that we're bringing to you. The Sentimentally Yours family has grown uh, to include my good friend Julia Watts and our new designer Trudy Howard. Hopefully we're all going to bring something different to the show, so you're going to be enriched with lots of different ideas and inspiration. Be sure to join us for our Sentimentally Your shows on Hope Chandler. Hi, I'm Joe from The Mill Shop Online. Welcome to The Mill Shop Online. As you can see, we're a lot of fabric here. We're very passionate about our fabrics. We're one of the largest online sellers in the UK of fabrics for upholstery, soft furnishings, and now the lovely craft market. Whether you're starting out with fabric or you're an experienced sewer, we love to bring projects that every ability can really have a go at. So don't miss The Mill Shop Online shows on Hochanda. Hi, I'm John Lockwood from John Next Door. I'm lucky enough to have been a guest on Hachanda since day one. I like to pack my shows with lots of hints, tips and techniques. And my idea is to give the experience that I've got and I've gained to everyone at home and show as many things as I possibly can. The John Next Door brand is designed to bring high quality, innovative products to the crafting market. The range includes stamps, dies and new products such as the media plates. 
I'm also looking to expand the brand and bring you lots of new techniques, new ideas and new products into the next few years. I hope you can join me on my crafting journey and learn some tips and techniques from me that I share with you. So don't forget to tune in and watch the John Next Door shows on her channel. Hello everyone, I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, of sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> You see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Well, you know, sometimes the technical gremlins do come in and I had some issues with my mic, that was all. Uh, but now, of course, we the one day special from Pink Ink Designs. We have got Mel in the studio, we have got Kathy in the studio. But let's say first uh, hello to Mel. Hello. Hello, how are you? Now, I'm very well, thank you. Now your mic's fixed. Yeah, now that I can, you know, everybody can hear what I'm yes, saying. Yes, exactly. Uh, now, Mel, the the amazing one day special it is beautiful it's for Christmas but also all year round I think yeah definitely very versatile these stamps whenever we or or either we design or we get our guest designers to design we ask them to keep a little bit of an open mind on the fact that elements at least if not the main um, image itself can be used as a non Christmas set because or else you can only use them at Christmas, yeah. and that's and, a shame. And that is, is actually, for instance, we are getting the beautiful Robin, work by uh, Alexandra Goku, but you can see the borders in here, they do have got a hint of winter, Yes. but also I'm kind of thinking you can always use, because here it's just this is a tiny snowflake, you could put something on the top yes. and you doesn't need to. And the Robin doesn't really have to be a Robin, Absolutely, does it? I mean, yeah. you know, you could mask out certain p parts, stamp in, it could be any Absolutely. small garden bird. And there's of course a make a wish. This one is a completely, you know, non non Christmas actually. Totally, yes, totally. Look and then and then finally we have got of course you are getting four beautiful ones, which is the winter garden. That is phenomenal. And of course I'm going to just see the packaging. I love your packaging because Thank you. it's inspirational as well. We try. 
Yeah, it's just gorgeous. Now, of course, these are the four stamp sets that you are getting in the one day special. They are A5 photopolymer, so you know the quality as well. Now, over a quarter of the stock has already gone, and that was just in one live hour things that you can put projects that you can accomplish it's just stunning this is one of my favorite ones and that's this, from Leanne and this is so quintessentially I think pink ink design it is it is very much so is that microfiber it is well? our microfiber there yes now what I love is that the same image in here over the the old book yes that's from Karen um, she's always she always thinks outside the box Karen does and then you can do pairs like that yes. I just, I just think it's just look, the way that the torn paper in the middle and it's just the strength of the big, bold, uh, beautiful robin stamp that kind of allows you for techniques like this. Yes, and that's right. And look at that. Create your own stockings. I know. little stocking filler stocking that would be, wouldn't it? Well, just full of chocolate and yes, diamonds. Yes, full of chocolate. And diamonds. <laughs> ah, we would love that, wouldn't we? <laughs> we well, both of them, I mean, you know. Uh, but look, and I, then I love the traditional kind of colouring, watercolour colouring in here. That's Be from Annette. Gorgeous. And this one I want to show you as well, because then you can do a pair of robins. Yes, yeah, beautiful, and I love the, I love the tone, tonal aspect of that one. And I have to say, this is one of my favourites. Mm, beautiful. Because how uh, this is by Gail and look the corners and how everything kind of comes down to so it. So pretty isn't it? That is absolutely stunning. Is that the one for the go winter garden set, the trees? It's with the bells, yes, yeah. yes it is. Look yeah. at that, gorgeous. And of course uh, when we were saying that it's not just for Christmas because you're getting make a wish, this is absolutely all year round. I know, look it's so pretty isn't it? Yeah, I love. So and you I, could make her any season of the year, really, couldn't you? You could do her through the four seasons. You could, yes. And you know, also it could be like a winter wish, a spring wish, and kind of the stories as well that you can tell. Fifty nine pounds and ninety six pence is the price for the one day special. You have got a ten pound saving now. Of course, we are in our Christmas event, the five days of Christmas. That means that which any purchase that you make here at Hochanda until the 28th of um, you know, July, you will get accredited five pounds to your account for the next following day. And then that you can use against any purchases that you make that day on 30 pounds or more. Now that is, if, if for instance, you're flexible or something, the first payment has to be 30 pounds or more. And of course, if that five pounds voucher will expire at midnight of the, and so therefore do check out your baskets uh, that day because otherwise you will miss out. Then of course you can use one or you can, you will get five pounds every day. So you will get, if you, anything that you spend during that, this event, one day you will get five pounds. So it's one per customer, basically what I'm trying to do per day. So you can do it over how many days is it? Every day. So five days, five pounds. Ah, I'm imagining it's such a complicated thing. Uh, 854 uh, <laughs> is your item number. So it means that if you go for the one day special, you, tomorrow you will get five pounds credited to your account to spend before midnight tomorrow. Right. Already a third of the stock has already gone off this bundle. Again, brand new today. This is again by another guest designer, Natasha Chopra. Chopra or Shora? Yes, you sort of have to roll the back of the throat in the middle of the name. It's Chopra. You probably do it better than I would, actually. <laughs> oh, I don't know. It's just, it's just one of those ones, I don't sort of know, but uh, well, Natasha has got a very whimsical style. She has, her. very much so, yes. And of course, here is the Christmas, uh, Christmas carol and the sleigh belts. I'm going to show you the back of these stamps because, again, the packaging is incredibly inspiring. But as a crafter, you want to see every single stamp that you are getting. Again, beautiful photopolymer, A5, the plate is. Look at the gorgeous in here. Look at that. And of course, you are getting, I love how the robin is kind of carrying the sleigh. Um, there you have got another sleigh and this is amazing image as well and then finally the third one in here all those gorgeous stamps that you are getting and then you can create something really pretty as well something really whimsical something really traditional is this the scenes that you build up yes yes and look at that I mean they are having a party yeah, aren't so, they? so that's Karen and she's used two 
two separate I think she might have used all three of them actually but certainly two of the stamp sets in one yes th all three because the one where they can decay is in one of them yes the one was they are singing the carols is another one and, and the fairy the with the sleigh yeah, is another yeah. one she's gorgeous and look at that I mean I She's so beautiful, that, that lady in this lay. That's just gorgeous. Now, if you want to go for uh, this bundle, uh, remember, brand new today, you have got a £5.50 uh, a saving, £46.97 is your price. You have got a, also a flexi-buy option of £23.49. 7808841 is your item number. Then we are moving on to rice papers, and they are incredibly busy. It's a pick and mix, so you have got three different sets to choose from. You can choose whichever two of them are your favorite, and in each set, you are getting six sheets. You're getting three designs and two of each. So we're going by this pick and mix, you will get in total 12 sheets of beautiful A4 mulberry rice paper. I like to make the difference because some rice papers are not mulberry, so you don't have the beautiful fibers on the background. So the hair one is, I believe, the most, the busiest one, isn't it? Uh, so that one, look at the wind. Oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. So that's the winter wonderland. Uh, this is called is the beautiful hair. Now, this is Kathy's or uh, artwork, isn't it? It is. Everything, everything is hand drawn on there. Can you imagine? I mean, I think when I see these. This is something that I would just frame it. Yes, I know. I mean, the detail that she she includes is amazing, isn't it? I mean, it's like even the tiny corner here. Can you see the two UVs? Now, I'm really close, and I can see all the detail on those wings. Everything, hundred, the words as well, how they flow around it. Every single, you know, millimeter of the paper has got a beautiful detail. And I love that it's that kind of more background yes, sort of paper yes. element. In we, try to, we try to give a, a selection so that people have got different usages. Then we have got Free to Dream, which I think is one also very popular one. Oh, I, it's so majestic. Mm. It's just look at that detail in here. Look at the, and it, I love, for instance, in here, how it centers the circle, how it draws you, how it makes you kind of you know, dream alongside the unicorn and look at that. Yes, I mean, my, my daughter's um, very much been a rider all her life uh, and she says that's really, really good capture of a, of a horse's it image. It is. Now, our producer is also a very a big fan of, uh, of, of uh, horses and she's kind of, yes, uh, she, she has got a, a horse called Roger. So, uh, <laughs> hello, Roger, if you're watching. <laughs> Uh, but look, I, I love again how, look at that, you know, look at those gorgeous. And I love this corner detail as well, that degradation of colours as well. It's beautiful, isn't here. it? And, and just, it's, it's got areas so that they can be torn to separate and yeah, just beautiful. I just, I, I, it's one of those ones that I kind of, I'm lost for words because I want to start using them. The colors are vibrant. They coordinate perfectly across all three collections, uh, three packs. And finally, we have got Let It Snow, which features that beautiful creature that is a white peacock. I love the peacock. I just think it's, it's just absolutely stunning. And it's such a, it's funny because I would never think of peacocks and Christmas in some, but then it's almost like, it's, it's meant to be, you know. Well, they go with the pads, and obviously the main pad is called All Things White and Beautiful, and we were looking for a lot of white images, and we found that peacocks are bred white yeah. sometimes. So, you know, it was an image we could put pop in, and it just works. That is um, beautiful. Uh, now, of course, if you want your own choice of, uh, remember, you choose two packs, uh, your item number six two five seven eight nine. If you wanted two of the same one, you could. You for maybe you could say, well, I want all three, and maybe you double up in the one that you uh, your more favorite. So you will end up with four packs. Uh, your item number is nine 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 pounds and nine. Eight pence, and of course your item number six two five seven eight nine. Now paper, more paper. I absolutely adore this collection. It's just vibrant. It's full of color, but also is kind of can I say it's a very pr a proper winter collection. Is the A by eight that we are looking at? Yes, that's right. And also, it's, oh, you said every single line has been drawn. Absolutely every line. I can look at that. All the backgrounds initially were created and then the line work on top. Isn't that? I mean, everything hand-drawn by Cathy 
and then you reproduce in this wonderful quality paper the colors the depth of the colors the vibrancy of this blues in real life is even better than on camera yes. because because on camera looks it looks really nice but in real life you have got such a variety more of hues coming that's through. right yes yeah just look at the detail of the peacock feathers i mean think about maybe f uh, your um, memory albums but also you are getting projects in here you are getting in the back of them that will create that star and then all those sentiments that you can cut around and mat and layer as well so these are of course you have got another one with another project as well printed on the back so you can see here that that will be a house and then you can focus cut it and score it and create a decoration for the home but things you can create with a mix with course with the rice papers bring them in combination with that's gorgeous look at that isn't that beautiful bring on of course uh, your embossing powders stamps in even if you wanted to to add even more detail and i mean this is just absolutely stunning out of you know kind of a wintry morning kind of you can imagine the the, the unicorn coming across 539196 is your item number 16 pounds and 98 pence is your price saving three pounds now one for a 12 by 12 which is of course the largest size that was eight by eight and is the same designs same designs in the pads yes just a different size yeah so they are kind of expanded to size now you are getting in each of the packs is it 24 pa 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 papers 24 four pages 12 designs so two of each so that you can see is isn't this needs to be framed I mean as it is I just just doesn't need much but I love how there are some of the pads in here that they are of course all the pages they're a little bit more subdued that's in right yes and they work really well with the rice papers then course that now you can see this one it was the sample I show you one of the samples was in the 8x8 eight eight, but it was that image with a beautiful peacock so you can do the same one maybe for the home decor and this again that kind of you have got the cutting and scoring lines and that let me grab it is this sample here look at that isn't that just beautiful so you can put chocolates in there put it in your Christmas tree not that I'm obsessed with chocolate but I just think that everybody <laughs> needs more chocolate in their life but you can see that and of course you have got all this beautiful pattern now this is just one of the paper pads because remember you are getting a second one which is different again 24 pages and by the way the GSM is 210 GSM so you have got that extraordinary quality I mean it is technically speaking it's actually card because yes yes thin card yes, yes really and it's it's all acid free as well perfect for your uh, of course your kind of decorations for a you know the home but also more importantly a scrapbooking love love look at that depth of the beautiful detail in here now if you want to go for the 12 by 12 your item number is 604041 and your price is 29 pounds and 98 pence saving four pounds now Mel you can have a sit down thank so you. we will invite uh, you swap over with Kathy thank and you very head much <laughs> thank <laughs> bye and now everything is available on the website hello so everyone maybe After. you want the stamps from the one day special individually so you can go for those ones uh, they are available on the website so have a look for those ones there because maybe you are like me and you're thinking well my mom would definitely love the beautiful in in a tr um, in a pear tree image so I might get that one just that one for my mom and then get me myself the audience on its own maybe you want to get some bucking for a hot press uh, a4 card which is of course what Kathy uses to stamp and to draw as well and then you have got in there maybe you want to go for the paper pads um, individually that is uh, they are available there as well it makes sense it maybe you prefer it to go for the whole pack or maybe you just want to have the choice of going for the smaller bundles there and of course you have got the multi-surface paints there is different bundles in there uh, now there are, is an amazing paint that is water-based but of course it will dry on multi-surfaces including plastic wood paper of course and that amazing microfiber which is actually available as well on the show so if you want it you can find it there as well and without further ado let's have a look at Kathy's uh, sketchbook
Yes, bought sketchbook in just to prove that I really did draw it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, we try and bring it in every time just so people can see the journey that goes through um, from um, initial concept right the way through to, uh, well, in this case, the papers. So I would just do some doodles um, how I th think the um, image might look. Um, I show Mel, we have uh, sort of meetings over it and decide which, which direction it's going to go in. Um, and we have actually got a unicorn stamp and we wanted to make it um, a, a little bit more different mm -hmm. than that. So um, here you can see I've actually um, done some um, uh, pencil work on the back. And the reason I do that is if I'm wanting to transfer that image onto, a, like, because I always paint on Bockingford paper, yeah. if I want to um, transfer it onto my paper, that's how I transfer it. It's it's really the old-fashioned way. It it's is. pen and pe pen and paper. It, cre um, it creates like a carbon paper, exactly, isn't it? Exactly. Yes. Back? Yeah. Um, and then things like this, where I draw on tracing paper, is I do that so that if something doesn't look right, I can lift it off, put it on, um, cut it out. You can see here. There's all sorts of cut out. Um, parts oh, yeah, in here yeah. like holes and windows um, and then I stick things on so actually it took me ages to get the legs right they weren't the right length and the right height and and we quite often do that with eyes as well we draw them cut them out and just reposition them on now this I'm slightly embarrassed well not embarrassed I, I'm less no. embarrassed about this one than the ones that are up and coming what I, I mean are you embarrassed of that well, one well only in as much as that this was my original painting. So there's a story behind how I work with my papers because when, when 100 years ago, when I was training, we worked with brushes and paints. That's, yeah. There was no digital anything yeah. and what have you. So in order to, to create the images, I have to do it um, on pen and paper and yeah. um, paint on paper. And so, um, actually, I think transferring that image was transferring the original drawing onto that, because to me that looks pretty similar. And then I go over with my watercolours, my multi-surface paint, um, and because you can see the mica in yeah. here, and I then start to paint. And I get it to pretty much this stage. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm new to digital artwork, and I think I've had my digital tablet... Have I had it about a year, Mel? I think it's about a year. And so... I, I came to that very, very new, and I didn't really know what I was doing, so I'm, I'm, even now I'm still learning. So I can't create this digitally. I have to do it with paint. It's just, uh, I mean, I have to say, this is the, we all kind of thinking, well, we, we, we wanted to have it in a frame because the, it is extraordinary. Yeah, but... It is beautiful. If I can... Oh, it's got the cellophane on it, yeah. but this became this because all the hand drawing that goes yeah. on all the snowflakes I have done that on my tablet okay yeah. but all I can do it is with um, is with a technical pencil on the thing I I can't I can't reproduce repeat mm -hmm. I li I just draw on it and so although I do do it all by hand there is a digital element but I've still got my hand on the pencil and I'm drawing with the pencil yes. um, but I still do it um, the old-fashioned way. But it, it is incredible. Thank you for bringing that. That's well, you're welcome. And then just because these are very, very quick, the same process again, a few doodles. I think actually a lot of them I threw out because I could only find three. So this was sort of the sketch that then got transferred onto my bocking for paper and I've painted it and splattered with it and done my basic drawing before I then go in digitally and start adding all the, the extra feathers on. And then incredible. the hair... Now, this is the one I am embarrassed about because actually this was the very, very first painting I tried with really? the digital, yeah. digitally. So I drew it all. In fact, I think, I don't think I even showed Mel the painting. Did I? I just did it to, to play with, to see if I we could do it. We are brave here at Hot Town. And so room. actually, this is the painting um, that, well... And this, is, this is the one that you're embarrassed yeah. about? So this one was the original painting... Um, that I played around with, that I then transported onto my tablet, and I changed it from this colour to be the white oh, hair with the with the yep. blues and the and the purples and all the hues and and everything. So um, yeah, you can see how it's transformed from but that this is to. Incredibly beautiful. I mean, this is one I'm going to be working on. But basically, that was the original, and on the tablet I changed it from that to that. But everything, every letter every f speck, every whisk, every bit of fur I've drawn with my implement.
Wow. So, yeah. It's a, it's a, like, I'm just speechless because I don't think, like, I could never achieve anything like that. But for, obviously, that's your talent. But it's the fact that you are so modest about it because well, even the one that you, you thought it was, an, you know, embarrassed about, it's just <laughs> incredibly beautiful. We all wish we had one at home, you know, of those ones because it's, it's just incredible well, artwork. Well, thank you. I, I appreciate that. But. Pardon? Mm -hmm. A little bit of a perfectionist. I, I am a perfectionist. I do like it to be right, yes. But that is important because otherwise you wouldn't deliver after time after time those beautiful images that we all love. Well, thank you, Paula. So it's... Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so with the papers, I'm, go I'm going to work on a piece. To, to I, I'm not quite sure how it's going to go. I've got all the elements, but we'll, we'll join it all together. But um, you mentioned in the um, uh, on along the counter yeah. that there is star and there is the box, and I just want Indeed. to quickly, quickly just go through how those are constructed, um, because I mean, if we can look on the overhead at these three, I, yeah. I love these stars. I think they're just they're gorgeous. Stunning. I mean, look at that. They are from the um, Eight by eight. This and is the twelve, and this is how it comes from from the straight from the pad. But can you see I've added um, gold, yeah. mm -hmm. and that's the multi surface again because of the mica, and I've just buffed it all up. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So all you would do is you um, get your piece, and the star is on the back. So it's got instructions on the back too. You're going to start by putting all your score lines in. I just use a ruler and an embossing tool put all the scores in and cut out around the outside edge. From that point, we're going to put all the, fo the folds in. Now, because it's hand-drawn, even this is hand-drawn, can you see it's actually not all symmetrical? Yep. So all, the, all these bits in here, I've hand-drawn those. Yep. Um, I put every one in. It goes from the tip to one right to the centre of another one. So I think one more, I think. Like that. So we've got all the scores in, and then to make it go 3D like these, um, all we do is fold it to the centre yeah. and then join the second one. Okay. Crease. Next one, crease. Next one, crease. Now that one you can't bring round, okay. so what you would then do is open it up and then bring that one round and crease okay. so it gets its final crease in. And then you've got your... 3D star. So with this, you could put a little, you know, a little, um, a, you know, circle with a with a hole in it and and hang it, hang it from a tree, and then in order to get your um, um, pigment on. Now I think we've got this one on the show. Until I started doing these stars, we've had this gold um, in our range for quite some time, and I've always sort of looked at it and thought, oh, I, I don't really use that sort of thing very much, very often. It was only when I got it out to start using on the stars did I realise how gorgeous it is. Um, and since then, I've pretty well used it on everything um, because it really is gold, a proper, proper gold. Um, and so what I've done is I always use my finger because I think when you're um, buffing on pigment on an edge, you can kind of feel where the where, where the pigment's going. If you use a brush, you can't really feel, and you've got no control over the what goes around the edges. So, I put some on my finger, and I just go along the edge. If it's easier for you, you can actually do it like that, but I like a little bit to go over the sides, so you see a little bit more of it. Next one. Take out. If you find you've put too much on, with a, with a clean finger, wipe it off. So you're using the one finger to, what? Yeah, to put your colour in. Okay. And this is such a simple but effective touch, isn't it? Yeah, so that's doing that. And then what you can do, if you want to do more, you can just smudge some into the edges, into the, into the points, beg your pardon. Yeah. So I don't know if the, the camera can pick up the sheen of this gold yeah. but it's it's beautiful yeah. and again if you want to use it on fabric it's permanent on fabric um, and so you'd carry on the same to get all the the glitters in and then this one I've actually flicked with a brush okay. which actually I think is really nice and I think it would also be nice um, if you doubled them up so say just say you had the 8 and the 12 together you could do um, you know join them yeah. 
um, you could back them and just remember you've got to make sure because they're not symmetrical you've okay. got to make sure you've got the right point with the right one otherwise Absolutely. they're not going to work yeah. um, so thing. that's basically how we make these beautiful stars yeah. and how simple and yet it's really included. simple yeah. but so much detail because the paper that you have drawn into it the original yes yeah, that's, that's amazing so you know I mean the colors on the on the um, papers are very deep um, and and rich and that makes it a really great base for adding metallics and white on. So if you want to do lots of um, colouring and painting with, with, with those colours, um, I think there's one of Gail's round where she's used the bauble. I don't know where that is, but she's coloured it in white. It's absolutely stunning. Um, but, yeah, I, I hope people that, that um, are interested in the papers will consider using the metallics and, and whites on them. Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. So if the details for the paints, uh, we have got them here on the show. So if you want to go for the paints, uh, you can see them on the website. But mm -hmm. uh, there is the three different bundles. There is one that includes, of course, that beautiful gold uh, that Kathy was talking about. So that kind of uh, the beautiful spa, uh, spa speckles or speckles. You know how you got a splatter, a splatter. That's the word that I was looking. A splatter of oh gold. Uh, that one. The details for the top one. You have got the apple green in here. You have got the hot pink, the aubergine dazzle, and the silver shine. That the silver shine is the one that is a neutral binder with the beautiful yes. silver yes. Yes. glitter in here. It's stunning. Gorgeous. Uh, that's the uh, details on the screen. Three nine two eight seven zero. Then we have got the gorgeous. Uh, you know that that's the brand new one, isn't it? The soft mulberry. Is it uh, it's not brand new. It has been before, but it's it's one. It's I think it's new this year, isn't it, Mel? It's one of the newest. Yes. Ones, yeah. Colors. And then of course you have got that vintage gold, the sunlight yeah, that's gold. That's the one that I've just been using. Gorgeous. Uh, there. And then, of course, the Atlantic Blue, 994621. And then the final one, uh, here you have got a beautiful kind of really intense red. And you have got that, of course, is a strawberry fire. You also get royal purple, meadow grass, and a sparkle a star. Now, a sparkle star is the multi-iridescent glitter, isn't yes, it? Yes, yeah. If, you, if you're not sure whether to go for silver or gold, actually, it's a really good one to go for because it's got sort of like pinks and pale blues in. Um, and, and really goes on pretty well everything. So you can see it here, all those colours. So your gold you might put on warm colours and your silver you might put on the cools, whereas yeah. the, the pearlescent one will pretty well go on anything. Yeah, they are good. I'm gonna, well, are you ready for them? Yes, yeah, I just want to quickly show, show the box. The box, again, um, illustrated on one side, pattern on the other. I've pre-scored and I've cut. And the box is just really, really simple. Um, bring all the sides up, put your, put your um, folds in your tabs um, and it's got a lid on it that um, when, you, when I've assembled it you'll be able to see but it's hinged so you'll be able to open and close it um, with the help of a ribbon and you've got choices of how you actually, um, where or how or where you put the ribbon so you can hang it um, from the top or you can just use the ribbon on the side to actually close the box now I'm just I'm using a solvent um, glue because I just want to do it very quickly um, but any glue will do or double-sided tape or um, I'm sure like yeah everybody has got favorite glues yeah and you know they work and you get two of the sheets with that one, that design on yes. the 12x12. Yes, so, so you get two, this, this is the 12x12, 12 12, so this is the size. The 8x8, um, uh, the house is actually fine to do, but I've also popped on there, because I don't like to have empty space, I put two little Christmas trees, and this is, these are the Christmas trees. Oh, look at like that. Like that, so you get two of those as well. So if you want to sort of have a little table setting at Christmas, um, that is adorable. Right, now the crucial bit for the roof is this bit here and here. Okay? And those are just put in, and it's all written down, as I say, on the pad, are a slit. And what that means is that's where the ribbon's going to go. So really, really quickly, this is how I apply my ribbon. I um, just use a tool, I'm using the back of actually my scalpel so I don't cut the ribbon. You push it through there and you have to do this bit while it's flat otherwise um, it gets very very complicated. So push it through like that 
Um, we're going to secure it in place with um, a little bit of off cut of paper and again with glue. So that's in position. Um, and then my other little bit is here. That's in position. And then at this point, we can bring the sides up and glue the sides for the lid. And of course, I can. That is gorgeous. Okay, so to do the lid, we're just going to bring that edge to that edge and glue. Now, before you close the top, you have to attach the roof to the box because you need to get your hands in the lid to join the tabs so it's straight. Otherwise, you can have a, a wonky roof. So. Once your roof is dry, you're going to glue the tabs. And of course, I mean, this, this is now the, a, a great base for you to start adding gel, white gel pens. Um, you know, your, I'm not quite sure what they call it, that, that snow stuff you put on things. Um, you could add that on. So what you do is you, let's put this fold in. You go over the top and drop it down. And then you get your roof straight and then you attach the tabs between finger and thumb okay. go around attach it and then you've got room uh, time and room to maneuver it if you've got one side that's up a bit just move it but that's pretty flat and then once it's dry down the lid goes nice little bow and you that. and you've got to, so that's your that's your lid the top part now if you want to hang it there's a little little circle here you make yeah. a hole there and just feed a loop through and that means you can hang it from the tree. So you have given that option, so if you... Yeah, you can do either. Oh, that's... Yeah. And then, of course, you've got your little trees to go next to that's it. That's so cute. That's so absolutely cute. And I kind of want to show as well the, the backing, how, of course, you can have the little uh, trees in here. You can see the uh, tiny one. Look. You can say, look, I bet you can see the trees in there. Simple, but it's yes, just so effective. Now, of course, that is the paper pass, the 8x8, eight eight, or the 12x12. 12 12. You have got those two options. But the one-day special is the start of the show. That's brand new stamps, of course, by Alexandra Goku. Now, beautiful A5 plates of photopolymer so you know the quality of photopolymer you know that you can see through them so you can do precise stamping you're getting the robin red breast in a, in a pear tree winter garden and make a wish 30 percent of the stock the whole 24 hours of stock of the one day special has already gone and you can see in detail the beautiful images that you are getting the focal image now this is a lot of stamp that commands the attention you are getting the robin with that beautiful focal image but also all these accents that you can build the frame around it that you can then decorate as you wish if you are a pink and design fan you of course you you can bring your fabric, you can bring your stamp into wood, but maybe you are more of a car maker and you just want a stunning Christmas cards for this year. You can achieve them. You can have something that always thinking, always I think that they have got this bold, they have got the boldness but the sophistication at the same time. They have got a quirkiness but always elegant quirk in it they have got a uniqueness that is with art and all that means that christmas cards that you want to make that you that you want to create that you want to be proud to send you can achieve them with these gorgeous stamps every single image every single stamp is means something it adds a layer it adds possibilities to combine them all together and create a collection that is extraordinary 854-323 is the item number for the one day special you have the option of one of payment or two payments so the two payments helps because of course they are interest free so you just pay a one and a half today plus pnp and then the next the, the following month you will pay the other half one of payment of 59 pounds and 96 expense whichever way you choose to go for you have got a 10 pound saving so grab it now by checking out those baskets and that's the way to secure yours also brand new today we have got another collection uh, and of course is the christmas collection this one isn't by another of the guest designers from pink ink designs uh, this one is by natasha gosh uh, kind of chakra uh, this is one of those ones that is a little bit difficult and i tend to pronounce it every single time i don't know why i do that to myself but you have got in here the gorgeous images 
I absolutely adore this collection because it inspires me stories in my head. All of them, they have got a character. They have got, I, I give them already names. I think they, they, you know, there is, there is a Rupert for sure. I think this is Rupert and say, we say Rupert and Molly, uh, they're giving a kiss to each other here. And then this one, it has to be Matt, you know, Karen, this is the thing, you want to give them names, you want to create a stories about them. You want to say, well, she's a stunning, she, you know, where is she going? Is she going to be delivering presents to the mice? Is she going to cook a Christmas dinner? Is that the stories that you see? I love those snowflakes in here because, again, they are so useful. The wings, you can make her into fairy or she can be just a lady. Then you have got here the sentiment, let it snow. And then, if you look at this, I absolutely adore this focal image. They are just singing carols underneath that gorgeous lamppost. The way that you can build images, the way that you can build stories, lends itself to maybe you are like um, Karen, who has created her own storybook with her, or, you know, she has stamped the images, colored them up, and written a story, a Christmas story, uh, and then, of course, incorporating the, all these beautiful stamps, as well as some previous releases, like this one, from, of course, Natasha. Now, all together creates a very unique piece, that of ours. Maybe you will want to, um, of course, create that for several members of the family, and being a stamps allows you to of course, stamp it several times and create those amazing results every single time. 7808841 is your item number. You, uh, the price is £46.97 with a £5.50 saving. You have also the flexi buy option to spread the cost into two payments of £23.49. Right, I believe Cathy is ready for the next demonstration, so let's head back to her. I am. Um, I'm wanting to work on the... Um um, eight by eight pad um, because I'm, I'm just on an A4 bit of grey board and I've um, actually attached um, some of the 12 by 12 as my background piece and then all I've done is I've just cut out loads of like bits and bobs um, I'm not quite sure how it's all going to assemble yet but part of the um, uh, paper pad is this really really lovely frame it's it's drawn in white um, on this deep color but actually would take some gold I've put the gold well I've started to put it around the edge um, and I've also started to put some gold um, around here um, I did originally, um, this is something that actually went a little bit wrong, but I'll show you what I did. I thought I was going to um, cut out a hair and do it 3D and sort of decoupage it. And I thought, I know, because it's in the frame like this, I wanted something quite light behind it, probably a bit of white. So I had a bit of an experiment with some sandpaper. And I tried with my sandpaper and I thought, oh, you know, that's going to look quite good. I like that. Um, and I did it and it looked brilliant and then I thought I wonder if I wet it whether it'll look even better and Ooh. I wet it and actually it didn't look quite so good after I wet oh. it um, right. so I mean I did another bit after just to show um, the difference so sandpaper in fact some, this afternoon on another project worked really well um, with wet and dry without any um, uh, water at all it just takes like the top layer off the pigment off and leaves the white but anyway it's it's just a technique if anybody else wants to have a try at it so um, what I did was I went in with the gold and again I paint with my fingers because I think you don't sort of get edges and you can you can blend and spread and I just want this gold sort of coming up from behind the frame but I still also want my white um, because of the deep colours I just think um, it needs the white to make it pop forward so what I want to do is I want to add white which I've gone and left my flicking brush at home so bear with while I hope this works now, uh, Cathy, I need to tell you that um, you have got about 10 minutes. Okay, yeah, brilliant. So I'm going to get some white on that gold. Now, I'm not worried about it if it goes on, on his face because I've cut a piece out that's going to go on the top. Yeah, I was hoping to get slightly bigger lumps, but hey-ho, it is what it is. 
Look. This is when you do this technique and you look in the mirror and you find you've got it all over your face. <laughs> well, I kind of say I'm glad of social distancing because it wouldn't be the first time that I have been splattered all oh, over really? with white paint. <laughs> um. And actually, funnily enough, I think it's the exact same top that I was wearing <laughs> one time with Lou Wither, so kind of, I, it was quite funny. What, and you got white all over it? Oh, yes, <laughs> all over my face, all over the paint, you know, the, the, the show. Uh, it was a, also, it wasn't even a splattering, it was a kind of opening, it was an upside down the tube or something and she uh, had to press oh yeah. quite a f hard yeah, yeah. and of course it kind of went everywhere. But look at that. So I'm just going to check that, yeah, see I can see enough of the white, it needs the white um, as the contrast. And I've put it on quite thickly so I'm just going to dry it off. Could you, while it's wet, um, sprinkle a little bit of glitter? Would it attach the glitter to the paint? Yes, you could do. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, that's fine. Because, um, you know, this is this is like an acrylic paint, mm. and with acrylics you can. When they're water, they're water-based acrylics, but they're almost waterproof when they're dry. They they dry a bit, a bit like a yeah. plastic. You know, if you ever like leave a bit in your palette, yeah. you can kind of peel yeah, it yeah. off, can't you? So yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. Right, I think that's dry. Um, so. I'm going to have my frame, but what I want is I want my hair oh. to come from the bottom but pop over the top. Oh, so, that's lovely. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue the bottom first, again in the, in the interest of speed. You know, it's, it's, it has got that inquisitive look, almost like, well, you know, what are you looking at? Uh, what, what, you know, what is there? Well, you know, it's almost like, it has got such a personality. and. That's what I love about your artwork because it's kind of almost ask questions, you know, it, yes. it's kind of... I, th I think that's to do with, you know, my background is children's book illustration and so I've, I've always drawn um, to words, if you, if you know yeah. what I mean. And I think actually even now I'm not obviously not drawing, um, colouring or painting for words, but I think that, you know, it's artwork, characters. It, it tells a story, yeah, doesn't it? Definitely. So I want to have him slightly raised. Now, if this isn't enough, I might use some 3D... Um, I mean, it's, it's almost like you are giving blue. us the images so we can imagine the words and the characters. Uh, because automatically you, you, you feel that he's going to come alive and already I'm giving him the pers or her the personality. And I just love that. I've slightly domed that, so I've sort of pushed it down a bit. Um, to give it a bit of dimension and then hopefully that's oh, going to fit there. That. Now I've smudged one of my white blobs so I'm actually going to take it off and I can always just reapply it after with a brush so okay. it wasn't completely dry but never mind. Right and I'm going to slightly sculpt the ears. I love dimensional work. Yeah. To, to take a, a two-dimensional piece of paper and make it three-dimensional so I think that's going to look really nice. Now this is obviously all off cut so there's a bit of artwork here that I might want to save for another project. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark, if I've got something that will show, let's just use a, a marker pen. I'm just going to roughly mark where I want to cut. I want to cut round there and no lower than there. Never waste anything, Paula. No, you I, never know yeah. when it might come in handy. Oh, okay. well, you know, and, yeah, <laughs> I can agree with that. Okay. And I, can I, and I wish um, also that I, I find everything handy, so I kind of, I just, I have quite a room full of stuff that I don't have time to actually use. <laughs> I know, it's, it's not good. You see, even here, I've tried to put lots of borders and edges on things. Yep. So that we can, whoops, we can save that and use that on Definitely. a piece because that's not going to be seen. So why well, not one not? Okay, well, it's full on the floor, so I'm not going to use it on this piece. Um, oh, and now I'm going to. That's glue beautiful. It I think actually I would have, I would have had a bit more white, but that's in the interest of speed, we won't bother. So this is going to go on here. And this is going to go there, and I want to keep the sort of turquoise. If I if I cover that up, it's all going to be too too much of the same yep. hue. So we're going to go like this. And that's what is there's those background papers are so good because they are not just a solid 
match in colour, it's just that degradation and it gives you more possibilities. Well, we, that's what we were hoping for. Yeah, definitely. And also I kind of see almost like northern lights, you know. That yes, kind of yeah, a little bit. Okay. But every every snowflake on here I've painted, uh, I've hand drawn. And in actual fact, the, the artwork on the back is yeah. all original paintings. My paintings yeah. that we have then scanned in and used wow. as the backgrounds. I mean, you realise that we are all a little bit... Um, how can I say the word? It's like jealous of your or oh. amazing talent. <laughs> That's the way to put it. Well, you know, everybody can be jealous of somebody in a uh, in some form. I'm jealous of the way Mel c can cook. <laughs> I'd love to be able to cook like that. And you know, everybody has something, yeah. don't they? Uh. And so then I'm going to place that. Oh, yeah, in fact, okay. I might leave a bit over because I could get some borders around the side there. So I'm just going to. It is Put some glue. Glue. And then once I've got my main piece, which is obviously this, I can then start adding all my um, little bits and bobs. Yeah. And of course, Mel has got a background in, is it uh, interior design? Yeah, photography and interior design. So uh, you were talking, I think, last time as well, how, she, uh, how Mel had inspired you about colour choices yes. and yeah, yeah. things like she, that. Yeah, she does. I mean, you, you'd think I should know something about colour, but actually I quite often get it wrong. I, because I love colour, I throw everything at, at I, I put every single colour on. It's actually Mel that said to me, she said, the, be the best rule is to pick two colours, two colours that go together and stick to it and, you know, don't, don't sort of go off on a tangent. You can a push add a third, yeah. but ideally you want to stick to two. Yeah. Um, now, I'm going to add something here that is, is not part of this one day special. It's actually, I'm going to add some wings. Now, Paula, ask me why I'm, asked, or I'm going to add some wings. Why are you asking us after adding some wings? Because we've got a group called um, the Pink Inkers Group Facebook page. Oh. And yeah. a lovely, lovely chap called um, uh, Stuart Brown, yeah. he um, had a suggestion. Well, no, he didn't have a suggestion, beg your pardon. He posted on there a really beautiful piece of work that was had movement in it and so we we run competitions for people to win stamps and things and so our competition at the moment running is called motion anything motion oh. and so this is going to be my I can't win obviously but this is going to be my entry Stuart and my the motion is the fact that it's flying so oh, yeah. this is for him that I'm doing this so I'm going to put the wings on. Now, before I actually glue them, I probably, if I've got time, I shall add a little bit of, of um, multi-surface just to put the colour in there. You have got three minutes till the end of the three. show. Three? Yeah. Only three minutes? Yeah, I know, oh right? Oh, my times have, I mean, not only the hair is flying, the time is flying. So now this um, technique that I showed just a moment ago, we've got a, pay, a, a page that's got lots of these little um, stars of on. Course. You can do the same, to, obviously there's no template on the mm -hmm. back, you'd have to just do it yourself. But I've done the same and I've got some that obviously come off the edge and I didn't want to waste them, so I thought I could actually use them um, for sticking on and go, looking like they're going over the edge. I'll trim them if they're not the right size. We've also got on their frames, I thought, that would be really nice to use. So I could, I was going to get my, um, there's a little tiny robin, and I was going to put the robin behind, or but it could come down here actually. Um, so you can cut the centres out of your, of your frames, or leave them, leave them in. You could put a little stamp in there. Um, now this actually came from the original drawing. Actually, it's here. Look. So I've taken it off there. It's there, and I've mounted it and put a bit of gold on but it's got the ear of the original, so that's actually how it sat on the paper. Yeah. So wherever I position this, my thought was that I'm going to have to put a star to cover it. Ah, so course. don't feel that, you know, oh, I can't use it because it's got a, a, a tip of an ear in, on it. it. It can be used. Um, and I've got all these stars, which again, you know, we could, we could color, we could make borders down the side. I'm not gluing anything on because I'm mindful that I, I'm running out of time and well, I actually it's, want to it doesn't, it. You know, it's just seeing you working out the composition, I think, is very inspirational as well. And of course, this is using the 8 by 8 papers, isn't it? This is it? all 8 by 8 other than this backing piece, which was, was a 12 by 12. But actually, if you had the 8 and 8, you could, you could 
yeah. you know, double up on the back. Or maybe if you go for the rice papers, you could use the ba rice paper yes. at the bottom, uh, at the background. Yeah. There's so many possibilities, and of course, uh, in order to get yours, you need to check out your baskets, whether it's for those beautiful 8x8 papers or the rice papers or the one-day special, of course. Oh, look at the crown. Yeah, that crown co has come off our B stamp. So again, I would I'd paint those so they tied in. And then, of course, we've got loads and loads of borders to, to use or go out and add. And, you know, you could just really, really go to town on it. Um, Look at that. And what a lovely piece. That is cool. But I would, I would love to, if I had more time, I'd add loads more white to this. To so it was it. really rich and deep. But with, I mean, you can see already with the accent of the yeah. white on the on the wings and the crown, how it um, it sort of consolidates yeah. it all a, a lot better. And it kind of makes it the dark, dark be darker and the brightness be exactly. brighter, you know, yes. brings yeah, definition sure. and, and depth of it. Thank you so much. Have Kathy. I run out of time then? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, we, we have got about a minute, uh, oh, to, okay. well, less than a minute, to remind everybody, uh, of course, to check out their baskets. But, Cathy, you will be back with Mel as well at 8 a.m., right? Yes, yeah, I've got loads, loads more um, demos to do. All well, I, I cannot wait. And, of course, at 12 and then, of course, at 4, at 4 Final call. Or who knows what there will be in and left in stock? So to be make sure that you grab your one day special or your papers, the best, the only thing to do is to check out those baskets. Now remember, this is a one day special. Of course, there is the other collection by Natasha, and those those papers they are incredible by Kathy herself. Uh, now after the break, there is a happy hour. I'll see you then for an hour of Craft Yourself City. It is a happy hour, Crap Yourself Silly, so there is a lot of bargains galore. Then you have a repeat of Pink Ink Designs Christmas One Day Special, and then another happy hour. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Achanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Achanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up to $12.95, unfortunately. But good news freedom membership has remained the same at $19.99 what that means is you can place an order as often as you like during that calendar month you could even place an order every single day and there's no minimum and no maximum to those orders either so it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of all those fabulous deals those wonderful opportunities that we bring you here at Chanda now shipping again to you out in America so take advantage of that make sure you become a freedom member though take advantage of that saving Achanda News. We are excited to announce that our broadcast hours on Freeview have been extended to 10 p.m. each day. We know that many of you were missing our live shows in the evening and we can't wait to see you there. days of Christmas. Are you struggling for ideas or need a little extra creative assistance as you start your crafty preparations for Christmas 2020? From Thursday the 23rd of July at 6pm to Tuesday the 28th of July at 6pm, we'll be bringing you five days of Christmas crafting. Tune in and be inspired by Pink Ink, Sentimentally Yours, Clarity Stamp, John Next Door, La Blanche and many, many more as they help you get into the crafty Christmas spirit. Also, as an early Christmas treat from us to you, make a purchase of any item and you will automatically be given a £5 credit to spend against any purchase of £30 or more the following day. And you can do this every day throughout our event. 
So get ready for Christmas 2020 by tuning in to our five days of Christmas from the 23rd of July at 6 p.m. Hi, I'm Barbara Gray from Clarity Stamp here in the UK. Teamwork makes the dream work, and at Clarity, we are designers and manufacturers of, dare I say, beautiful, top quality and award-winning craft products. We are home to the very first, the original transparent art stamp. We hand make them here in Kent, and our talented illustrators are always coming up with new original concepts and wonderful artwork. In addition, we design and manufacture top quality stencils and masks. In fact, we also make precision cut reusable masks for our stamps. Since January 2017, we are also the new owners of Pergamano International, bringing together a wonderful blend of old and new parchment art. We are so fortunate to be able to showcase our newest and best products here on Hochanda and to be able to demonstrate our art ideas to you, our Hochanda friends. So if you would like to learn more about clarity stamping, stencil work, parchment art, both groovy and traditional, please join us, myself and the Clarity team, here on Hochanda for ideas and inspiration. are here at Hochanda celebrating the five days of Christmas and well if you are just tuning in to Hochanda well welcome the five days of Christmas are here at Hochanda means that if you make any purchase during the, uh, the days of the event which ends on on the Monday the 28th of July you get credited five pounds to your account automatically to spend in the following day those five pounds is or uh, you know they will come off of any purchase above 30 pounds that you make even if you flex by something as long as the first payment is over 30 pounds that five pounds voucher can be used now that is uh, limited to one per customer per day which means that if for instance you purchase something today you will get five pounds you know accredited to your account tomorrow but then if you make another purchase tomorrow you will get of course that five pounds uh, you know then the following day so in total you can save uh, 30 pounds in total if you make purchases every day now saying that why not are uh, doing a uh, you know purchase during this hour because it is a happy hour and what that means here at Hochanda is that these prices will be lower for the hour only and we are gonna start with the massive saving such a massive saving that is half price saving now you have got in here the craft yourself silly because of course this is a craft yourself silly hour and the whole items are from put together by Haley Smith which is an alleged legendary figure here and, and of course at Hochanda and of course it's craft yourself silly 99 Christmas bundle includes the fabric panel and 30 zebra pens let's break it down this panel has got all this these amazing beautiful uh, printed elements in here what you can do of course is print it into a I would say this is a quilting quality uh, cotton now what you can do in here is of course bring your zebra pens into it and color in so let's kind of go in for Christmas colors shall I go for what shall I start with coloring shall I say them the sentiment maybe shall I go for a sentiment because that kind of works so you have got say for instance I'm gonna go for the teal because that's a beautiful color now you are getting 30 several pens now they are one of those ones that they are gel pens you just press down here and you have got the fine name now you are getting uh, 20 of the colors and then you are getting 10 of the metallics you're getting five gold and five silver now what you can do then is kind of start coloring and one of the things I like to do is just kind of roll them and look and see in here how they're gorgeous and now I'm gonna go silent and just color in for the rest of the hour but you can see how gorgeous the colors kind of 
you know how intense those colors are and you can go in and blend them better now if you want to do a highlight you can do a highlight by bringing the silver now this one is how they will come to you because I think the teal had been used before this is what means that it has been unused so you take that away because and then you start coloring in as well so again look how beautifully the ink flows and you can then add a little bit of detail with the metallic in here can you see that i'm adding that shading in there and then you can go back with the teal color or yeah turquoise teal this is a bit and then mix them and blend them a little bit can you see how suddenly i have created that degradation of color here this is how gorgeous it is now of course maybe you want to bring a lighter color in here so another blue in there so and they kind of go in in and then kind of and with gel pens there is one thing that they say the slower you go pressing down gently and the slower you go the more the ink will flow but you can see how gorgeous these colors are then again I'm gonna go in with a little bit of glitter in here the silver it's not glitter it's metallic and then you can see can you see there how we kind of adds that detail now having all those colors means that you can add and maybe on your screens I don't know if it, yeah it, it, the difference between hues is more in stronger um, you know if you see them real life but you can see the gorgeousness of this 20% of the bundle the has already gone uh, you know I'm not surprised 48 pa pounds and 68 pence that means half price and also means that the pence I would just think about it just the pence is very worth that because um, yes, apparently they are worth that. So it, it's just a phenomenal saving. And remember that saving is here until the end of the hour or until stocks last, because sometimes that's what happens. You know, don't be consider, don't consider, don't think, well, I have got until the end of the hour. Well, yes and no, because if the stock goes, then so does your, you know, your saving because you cannot then, of course, get it. Can I stay here and do this all the, and then maybe Molly, you know, go, because I just love the amazing colors that you are getting in this bundle. And of course, having, you know, the colors, look, look how gorgeous they are. And having a 0.5 um, ball end, it means that you can go really into details. Can you see how tiny those those dots are? And yet I'm depositing color in there. I kind of I just really love this. Also, I don't know about you, but I love coloring. But I don't like coloring books. Uh, because I do like them. But you know what I do? I always think I get them, start coloring, and then what do I do with them? Uh, with this, what I love is the fact that you can do this, you can do the mask coloring, it's great, I find it personally very mindful, of course, you know, it might differ, you know, our producer agrees with me, um, you know, it's something that kind of relaxes because you kind of just follow in the whatever colors they are here, but doing it on fabric means that once that you finish, you can cut it around it, heat set it from the back so then you can wash it, and then of course it means that you have got a project that you can, you know, look at it, maybe with a Christmas one. It's a perfect for Christmas cards. Of course it is. That is a perfect size. This is about, I would say this is about five and a half inches, five inches a square. But also you have got the ability with this, you could do what I, I was thinking that would look really, really nice is to create like little ornaments for the tree. So you could just get a cheap calico, maybe a little, you know, and then for the back and put maybe you know the cinnamon and orange spices for Christmas that sort of thing put it in this middle uh, you know you can buy them oils and things like that they are already mixed for those smells or then you can put cinnamon and sticks or you know whichever way traditional way you find or you just lavender sometimes it's nice to have that and then have these ornaments for the tree that kind of are have got that smell of Christmas but you have decorated them you have completely color them I knew that would happen I mean it's just it was something it was meant here but anyway so I'm gonna just put them here it's like, well. <laughs> right I uh, don't know how to do this now uh, let's see uh, then it was so nicely you know so nicely 
so nicely done beforehand. Oh, I'm so sorry. Now, of course, you have got the possibility to go for the whole bundle, which you have got a £48 uh, saving, or, or so basically half price, or you can go for the zebra pants on their own. Now, these ones are the color pants uh, on their own, so these ones should be 48 30 on their own. Now, price, uh, this is, you're getting 20 for £28.30, so you have got a £20 saving, 8 for one two one one now if you wanted to go for the metallics you can go so remember you are getting 10 of them you're getting the 10 uh, 5 of the silver 5 of the gold 14 pounds 99 pence again half price because you are saving 15 pounds now even if you went so 14 pounds and 99 pence plus the it was 24 pounds and 90 um, something uh, that means that so if you go for the big bundles, you are paying very little for the big, you know, the, the fabric. So it, it's worth it, even with the savings, um, just to have some fabric that you can start coloring in. Uh, you are just paying a, f a couple of pounds, actually, so it's worth it. Now, of course, we have got other items from Craft Yourself Salid. We have got two different options. You can use choose between poinsettia, which is that one, or you can choose the holly now these ones are of course printed fabric they are double-sided flower balls kits now it makes three one large one medium and one a small and of course this is a really cool uh because what you are getting in here is the wording which has got a nice body in here i think this one is uh polyester because um, of course Haley is um it's very conscious of allergens and uh, and going for something like this that is kind of polyester, it means that it's, it's much more hypoallergenic. Now also, it kind of means that you don't have to pre-wash or anything like that. So you have got a printer panel here. And you can see that you have got the large one. I believe this one is the large one. Then you have got the, oh no, that might be the medium one. I don't know which one it is. So you can see in here that you have got the front and the back for the large one medium size and then you have got of course the smaller ones you also have got here the circles that you can create little barriers should you wish to do so and that one i'm really sorry Haley. i hope you're not watching because she will say paula you have lost my you know you know my berry has gone uh anyway so you have got here the uh, printed panels for the holly and then you're getting the wording to give it that rigidity that you know kind of you want that body so it stands out nice and neatly and you have got the same uh here for the holly the pla pla printed pla panel i don't know how i should put my teeth in every single day of my life but anyway uh, we have got here the big princess yes this medium one and the smaller ones you get an extra uh, so you get a bonus of the uh, the smaller one because you, you only need a front and back here uh, so uh, the wording is a fat horses, so you are getting, and of course you are getting the instruction on how to use them. So you can see here the fat quarter for that. Now you probably will have some leftovers, and you're thinking, well, the piece of fabric is slightly larger. Yeah, you only need basically one piece of wording, one piece of wording, one piece of wording. So you will have a little bit. Uh, I'm pretty sure you have got a little bit of leftover. And I learned, well, I learned a lot from Haley West, but one of the top tips that uh, I have been able to put in, in no, Haley, that's, yeah, Haley West, I learned this one, is to use any bits that you have got awarding, keep them. A, they can be as a stuffing for things like this, and, and, and B, you can sew them together with a zigzag and create an even awarding that maybe for a blanket or something like that. Now, if you want to go for Craft Yourself Silly Double Sided Fabric uh, Flower Balls Kit, your item number is 456282. Uh, four, and of course, you have got those two choices, Poinsettia and Holly. £14.99 is the price, you're saving £3. We have got an X, we have got, ooh, the art quilting. Uh, now this is quilting technique guidebook and of course it's right craft yourself silly with quilting techniques with 30 techniques in there 9.99 is the price and of course Haley is a very clear in teacher as well so she oh, anything that she does is kind of quite you know when you want somebody that gets you going and gets you crafting this is one of the things that you can say about Haley uh, Smith now, the next item that we have got is a pick and mix. Now, you choose whichever four you want, whichever four uh, you like the best, and then you have got the, you know, you have got 
that them for thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence. You're saving three pounds. They are the vintage printed cotton fabric panels. Now, shall we go through the different options? Uh, where do you want me to start, uh, Katie? Left to right, let's see. Uh, so uh, I get always confused with the right, left or right. I'm surprised it didn't take uh, that much, that long. Uh, this one is Santa. I mean, it didn't. I mean, it doesn't take a genius to figure out that that's a Santa. <laughs> yeah. uh, just, I love that. Imagine coloring them. Now maybe you have gone for. Look at this. Imagine you could do that with the pens, or maybe. I'm going to say it. Now, those pens, I think they will work amazingly in combination with also uh, pink inks, uh, the multi-surface paint. Because with the paint, you're not going to get as much definition as you can with the pens. But you can achieve with the paints bigger surfaces. So you can bring the paints, create the big swatches, and then with the pens, add tiny details in here so you kind of accents tiny oh dots you know oh santa apparently is going limited stock well we need you to last till christmas because you need to bring us lots of presents now he's he's like yeah you have been too naughty paula i'm not interested anyway <laughs> we have got the reindeer isn't that look at that i love it and this i think this definitely is not just for christmas I once stayed in a very nice hotel in Edinburgh, and the whole decoration was like tartans and big, bold, uh, you know, stacks and um, you know, like Highland cows. It was really modern and really striking. This could have been perfectly a cushion there, or think about pr pr uh, you know, framing it. Now, what did you just say, Molly? Back at the tartan, like a nice cushion. <gasps> yep. She just said tartan in the back and f for a cushion that's in the front. I love that. That's for your new pad? Yeah. She's getting a new sofa. She's getting moving. Uh, she's moving closer to us, to the outdoor. Now, okay, we, we are a family here at uh, Hochenda. We like to keep everybody very close. Uh, you know, not smothering or anything <laughs> like that. <laughs> and social distancing, of course. But, you know, it's just hopefully that one day social distancing will be a, won't be a thing and, you know, we can hug each other again. Right. This one is a triple snowflake. Love that because. Yes, it is a snowflake, but can you see the, you know, look, imagine painting it with green, you know, green elements in here. Also, if you are a fan of red work or any color, you know, that embroidery, think about embroidering different leaves in different colors, in shades of green, for instance. How gorgeous. Or maybe metallic, iridescent, white, you know, silver to add fleckles of, of you know, you know, just like kind of a sparkling detail in here. That would be amazing. And beads as well. This is the thing. Uh, we have got bells next. And this is the thing about printed panels. They are a canvas in which the image has been printed on. And this, how you add color is up to you. Think about maybe using interfacing. Um, and if you like, um, if you're like Hailey as well, that likes the machine embroidery, free motion embroidery, you can do that as well. Be guided by the printed panels and bring the texture and color with whatever medium you want. Now, this one is Santa sleigh. Excuse me, I need to cough. Just uh, it's a, a nervous, uh, you know, when I went itchy cough. Uh, yeah, uh, I'm gonna kind of, kind of have some water because, of course, uh, sometimes the air conditioning and things like that. But you can see Santa sleigh here. And then we have got ho ho ho. Okay. This one would be amazing with, of course, the silver uh, elements, silver or gold, with, of course, those gorgeous, um, you know, silver markers that we have got on the show. Remember, if you just wanted the metallics, they come in a set of 10 and you can get, you know, and you will get five of the gold, five of the silver. They have got an amazing discount because we are in a happy hour. And happy hour not means that you not only we are happy to be here, but you are also getting those discounts that makes us happy to give you and for you to receive those amazing discounts. Now here, this panel is the candles. Now maybe you wanted to go for the candles in here. You can see that he's a singing voice. And of course we have got the holly and the candles and the candy cane. And finally, this one is a standing reindeer. Now I'm going to say it, I would go, I'm 
I'm in love with these reindeers and it's limited. Can you imagine going for, because while there is a stock, you could go for two of these of each. So you could have cushion, so you could have two cushions in one side. Look at that. Wouldn't that go be beautiful? And then you can make them double sided. You can do as uh, one side can be Christmas. So you can have like winter tones and here, maybe silver, and the other side just all year round. So come to Christmas, you turn it over, and you know, during the rest of the year, you have it. Can you imagine kind of drawing some hollies in here, that are hollies and you know, berries in there? That would be so cool. Now, if you want to go for the Tweka mix, 121950. We have got some news, and is that Santa has now gone. You better get ready for, uh, you know, his first day of Christmas and you're already gone. No, that's not going to start, is it? Uh, let's hope that he's just gone to buy a lots of presents for everyone. Uh, no, if you want to uh, go for this one, add uh, this bundle, £13.99. And, and be quick to make your choices because the, some of them are already limited. Here is Alex to tell you more about freedom. Hello, everyone. I've got a minute or two to tell you why you should all be members of Hachanda Freedom. Did you know that with Hachanda Freedom, you could be saving on your deliveries every month? For just a £6.97 monthly fee, you will benefit from unlimited standard delivery, which means the more you spend with us, the more you save. And you know the best bit, you can cancel any time. Becoming a member of Hachanda Freedom, you will also be able to take advantage of our exclusive Freedom member discounts, where you can save anything up to 20% on an already fantastic Hachanda price. Freedom members will also receive our exclusive members badge and Freedom newsletter, which will keep you updated with all the goings on behind the scenes. Just look at all these benefits for £6.97 per month. Over 10,000 of you are already members, and we thank you so much for being a part of our family and sharing your crafting passion with us. In fact, I'm now going to hand over to you to tell everyone else about your experience with Hachanda Freedom. It's lovely because you have the special offers, don't you, that are, give you a nice discount, off, sometimes up to 20%. I don't have to worry about the postage. I, I can spend a fiver on something that I've seen as and when I've seen it, or I can spend 20 or 30 or 50 pounds, it doesn't matter. I get special offers, I get special discounts, they tell me when everything's happening, so if there's a special show I want to watch, then it's there. But yes, you do save. If you buy like I do, you save. <laughs> You see, you could be a member instantly for £6.97 per month with no ongoing monthly obligation. So when you want to cancel, you can. Just give us a call or go to our website quoting the item number 88888. So, don't forget, you get your unlimited standard delivery, exclusive freedom discounts, members badge and a members newsletter. What are you waiting for? Join Hachanda Freedom today and become a member of the growing Hachanda family. Hey Molly, what are you doing there? The pen, the pen, don't go away with the pen. <laughs> this is what happens actually. I, yes, we kind of put it out a little bit, but however, I'm not joking. When I was in the other side of the counter, Molly was here coloring in. So I said, well, keep going and then I'll, I'll come back later. Uh, now, of course, because that's the thing, isn't it? Coloring for many of us is that sort of calm down mindful exercise that sort of thing that you want to that kind of adds I don't know how to explain it but I'm sure you know how it feels you kind of have got things in the mind and you sometimes you just want to kind of focus your yourself into a little you know kind of area and then just just think about how the pen touches the fabric and of course the opposites that beautiful color and then kind of, and then what I love about these pens is that there is so much you can do, so many techniques. You can flicker them, you can go over and you can see, you can, you can build intensity. You can go over and then you kind of thinking, well, actually I want to do now, just flick things like this. Can you see how I'm just adding some lines in here? There I'm going. And then I'm gonna go with a lighter one and then kind of going in and then bringing, can you see how well they are kind of mixing the colors? There we have it. And then kind of going in, and then kind of as soon as they are, at that, I go with my first line, and then I go in again and roll them up. 
then row, 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 and then we have that. And then, of course, I think, well, that. Now I kind of thinking, well, actually, I kind of want to make that line a little bit less. And you can see the difference between that darker tone and the lighter kind of look one in here. So I'm kind of going to do a, maybe a little bit more of the darker tone. Like look at that. I love that. And if I put it like this, you can see it better in here. Now I kind of go in with the lighter tone and then go in and then add in another layer to here to blend those lines even better. This is so... So it's just, I just love it. I just kind of, now the fact that you have got, for instance, in here, the fact that you have got such a fine detail nibs, it means, and remember, it's not 0.5 millimeters. So you can do the berries perfectly. Now I have got this color that is more of a pink than a red, but then you can do with the yellow. Now, depends on their own, usually are four, are just the color ones, are four, how much? 48 pounds 30. Depends, the color pens on their own at the end of the hour are gonna be 48 pounds. Now, if you think about it, you are also getting 10 metallics, you're getting five gold, five silver, and then you are getting the 99 panel, you know, the gorgeous panel with all the, nine. is it 99 little panels that you are getting here? Yeah, I think so because that's how it's called. And they're printed into, you can see the size. I mean, let's, let's open it up. Cause this is just, look at them. That is a big piece. Now I just kind of go in, but look at the panels in here as well. They are beautiful. These are panels that I want to color in, not only because they, they please me to color, be, to color them, but also the fact that, um, they are really, there are some traditional images. There is like, imagine the stack. Imagine that just a very, you could even do, I'm thinking masking like a circle and then kind of dabbing some paint around it. Um, and then create like a, a stack coming through this, like in, behind, in front of the moon sort of thing. And then you, that, you just cut it around it, maybe fray the edges. Maybe what about putting, um, doing embroidery into them? Because you can imagine that some of them will lend themselves to do embroidery. But of course, is the coloring. This needs some blue. I'm gonna go for blue. I'm gonna color. Haley doesn't mind me doing this. I hope she doesn't because otherwise I'm gonna be into tremendous trouble. But she, she's usually very cool about it. I mean, she tells me off, but then she laughs about it. So should be fine. But for instance, the snowflake, I'm going to bring it up a little bit because I wanted to, but again, so I'm going to go in from the center in. Now, a third of the stock of this bundle has already gone. So yeah, don't be fooled thinking, well, it is a happy hour. I do have got an hour to check out those baskets. Well, the thing is that that is if the stock goes in here. So, um, for instance, we have got the pick and mix of the printed panels. Well, quite a few are now have sold out. Santa did sell out. So that sounds really dodgy, doesn't it? Um, so to whom he sold out to? Oh, I wonder. Um, then we have got also, so which ones has sold out as well? The reindeers are now limited stock. So if you want it, please do check out your baskets. Look at that, I love that. Look at that. And you can go over, and can you see how I'm flaking through them? And then I kind of bring in that one, and then I'm gonna go into more of a teal in here. Yeah, like kind of think like, oh, love when the turquoise is coming through here. Look at that. Look at that, and then and I'm kind of going in. But see, this is the thing, is that kind of, the kind of thing that you kind of thinking, you know, I can't just to be here doing this all day long and I would be just so happy. I'm gonna bring a little bit of the aqua and I'm not gonna color the whole snowflake because if you're just tuning in, it's like, well, I tune in to, you know, crafting TV channel and the, go the woman was just coloring in a snowflake and all she was doing is just with her some pens 
thrilling TV, I tell you that. Now, now, of course, you can come in with another color. You could then bring your metallics because remember, the colors on their own usually are 48 pounds 30. Now, with this bundle, you are not only getting the metallics, 10, uh, 10 in total, so you are getting 30 pence in total, uh, so 10 metallics and then the 20 color ones, but you also are getting the 99 Christmas uh, pa you know, panel. And that means that you can have, if you color them all up, or you, whichever way you choose, look at that, I love how you can just blend it in a little bit more. Uh, then you have got 99 projects, uh, fronts of the projects, fronts of the cars for your Christmas. That's a huge amount of them. Also, what I love about this is that, yes, with the pens, they do take a little bit of time. And I have to say, when I'm this, at this time of night, my eyes are really tired, so I cannot really see that well how to color because, you know, several reasons. But, but you can see how the degradation of color you could go in a little bit more but i would think that this i would bring in my multi-surface paints from pink in designs i would bring them in to do quick and easy projects then bring my pens to accentuate those tiny elements that the, the multi-surface paints don't give me and of course then you can go in and then kind of add little dots in here and then that kind of blends in. Can you see how I'm adding like tiny detail and those metallics will add that different elements. Oh, I could be here all day, well, or all night, but we have got other things to remind you of. Now, we have got a seven day savers. Now, seven day savers, we have got, uh, of course, um, oh, some fibers, some hmm, interesting fibers. This one is dish cloth fibers. Uh, you are getting 600 grams ball of 100 cotton. Now, you have got different color options and you are saving seven pounds 50, whichever option you go. You have got bright white there. You have got the if this is cream coral salmon yeah more or less uh a shrimp shrimp uh it's a and then navy and then and then there is also a mixed bundle that would be oh wouldn't that be uh which one oh i see which one is the kind of corally oh so i would get the hot pink would be fuchsia Pro, the orange, orangey salmon and then the pale pro shrimp. So that would kind of makes more sense. Uh, and of course, you have got the mixed pack in which you are getting one of each. £13.99 with a saving of £7.50. And then uh, we have got Tremet uh, and we have got a set. I think it's a um, cutting mat. Uh, I don't know. Sorry. The, this one is the rainbow and pastel embroidery bundle. 72 skins in total uh, with a 12 inch embroidery hoop. Now, I can tell you a 12 inch embroidery hoop is not easy to find that big size isn't that common now of course you have got also the 20 72 uh, skins which means that you have got a lot of cotton to embroider with and some of them as you know they kind of it's great to invest if you are brand new to embroidery I think about maybe going for that panel and add those details as well the Christmas panel S 17 pounds and 49 pence is the price saving five pounds and 50 pence Oh, leather swatches next. Now, we were talking with Catherine early on because we, uh, you know, there is Dremel is one of the brands that we have got here at Hochanda. And she's a massive fan. And she was saying how you can take those letters and kind of, you know, kind of create kind of almost burnt elements into the leather and create. It's just an amazing project. Now, why not invest in these 10 by 10 assorted colors, uh, six pieces in total? Now, think about it. If you are somebody who likes memory albums and you want to create the leather bound effect, why not put together for them? Because then you can wrap around your MD, uh, your MDF if you want to, but I'm thinking more chipboard or, or board and cover them and you give that impression of incredible quality. 14 pounds and 99 pence with a saving of 35 pounds. Your item number for the leather swatches is 632076. Now, you know at Christmas, you know kind of thinking, you know, you want to maybe have those special sweets that maybe you purchase for Christmas. Uh, in my, you know, it, Maybe you want them because you want to display them uh, and you have them somewhere where everybody can grab those chocolates. Maybe you want to display maybe like 
you know, little presents that you have done. Maybe you are um, somebody like, um, you know, you have got some relation with Spain and you know the Belens, the nativity scenes. And many times you want to have a nativity scene in which it's kind of self contains And a lot of the times you have got, you know, um, Joseph and Mary and little baby Jesus. And you have want to have something to, wrap, to, to just present them. This would be perfect. There is lots of ways of using it, and it's a really cool project because you are getting a printed panel that has got all the elements to create the three of these kind of balls, three-dimensional balls. You also are getting the wording, which is a fat quarter, so exactly what you need, and a little bit extra probably for these projects. You're also even getting three of the smaller ones, so which means that, you, of course, you have got an extra one. Now, you have got two choices. The one that I'm showing you is the poinsettia one, and the second option is the holly. Now, the holly, of course, has got more of for, for gondola sort of uh, kind of, um, of uh, nature of here. I'm thinking this would be perfect all year round. I would take the berries out and it's all year round for glasses. You know sunglasses when you go home and you don't know where to put them and you are always trying to find them. You can have something like this uh, at home to put them. The keys as well you can obviously two separate ones. Here you are gonna get again um, the material for three different sizes uh, and of course the wording that you require to finish this project. £14.99 with a saving of three pounds and your item number is four five six two eight two I do like four five six I don't know why it's just kind of goes in graduation it's the right order of things uh, two eight two is a little bit confusing for me uh, 14 pounds and 99 pence is that actually a re really lovely number because it's the price for them anyway your choice poinsettia or Hollis and after digging myself that kind of hole, uh, let's get out of it and let's celebrate Christmas with ho 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 and you know what, reindeers. I absolutely adore these reindeers. The reason why I do like them is because they are all year round. And you can see here the two, uh, you know, the stack he heads. It's, it's one of those ones that is incredibly powerful traditional image, but also is incredibly stylish and modern. They would look amazing. Imagine these ones as they are into cushion covers, into a very modern or a very traditional country chic uh, sort of um, cottage. Maybe you want to add some Christmas flurries in here so you can go for the snowflakes. Uh, we have got here, and this is the three, three snowflakes. Yeah. Uh, now, in, this is a pick and mix, which means that you choose any four of these ones. It could be four of the same one. Again, if you are thinking, maybe you are thinking now, I need to give my teenage daughter or my teenage son something to do with. and. Maybe this is really cool because this is a kind of a quite gender or gen non-specific gender non because that a guy will like, a girl will love as well. So it has got the possibilities. Maybe you want to start them sewing. Maybe you want to start them kind of maybe crafting with embroidery. That sort of possibilities will. This really works for it. Maybe you want something really Christmassy. Well, there are the bells here for you. Also, I'm thinking. If you go for more than one of the same one, three-dimensional, I'm thinking adding someone, use some stabilizer. And one of the things that you can do, I have done it in the past, long time ago, is to put fabric, right? So imagine this one. So you can see it on the back. And you put, um, you know those florist wires, the really thin one, you put it on the line. Can you see here that the holly has got the kind of the spine of the holly, the middle of the holly. So I would put the, then you can do it, glue it, and then put a stabilizer, iron it, and then you can cut it around it. Now, when you do that, then you can decoupage it because the wire will mean that it will be s stiff enough so you can, that layer. So then you, this is why it's good to go for more than one of the same one because then you can have the main image in here that you can, you know, of course that's nice and colorful. And then you have got the hollies that are coming out because that's the second piece with the wire inside. Does it make any sense? Uh, my producer saying, yeah, more or less, I think I know what you mean. Um, but it's just that the idea is that it's not the fact that you have a pick and mix. It doesn't mean that you have to go for four completely different. Think about which ones are your favorite because sometimes it happens. 
You have got two clear favorites. Do you have a third one that is kind of free? Yeah, I really want that one as well. And then you're thinking, well, the fourth, I'm doubting between two. Why not order an extra one of the ones that you really, really, really like? And that way it means that you have got an extra to practice on. Or if you succeed in the first time, you, well, you can go in another time with it. You have got Christmas sleigh in here. Again, now this reminds me of one of my favorite um, Christmas decorations that my mom has. And I'm talking about that probably is about 30 years old or even longer. I probably was 10 years old when she had it at first. And it's one of those ones that is just basically two pieces like these. Um, sewn back to back but of course it's all beautifully colored and it's just a stuff with a stuffing toy stuffing and it's just every time that I see it I just it's just memories that brings so create start your memories now think about it, the whole process choosing your images perceiving them opening that pack deciding what coloring medium you're gonna bring. Maybe it's the pens, maybe it's the multi-surface paints, maybe it's embroidery, maybe you just want to leave them plain, but then you create something that time and time again, you are gonna bring at Christmas. Maybe it's ho ho ho, that makes you laugh. Or I, sometimes I laugh because that is like, oh, 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 <laughs> so that can be as well. I mean, whichever way you look at it. Um, yeah. Uh, now, or if you add a tea, it's hot, hot, hot. So it could be maybe a put to put in a kitchen. So it could be something like maybe to add uh, as a funny joke into a, you know, like, um, you know, those, those things for the hot things, you know, the oven gloves. Yeah, that, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> uh, then, of course, we have got the candles here. This one is the one that has got more elements to it. Again, pick and choose whichever ones you want. Um, you can use them in so many projects. Think about as well, just simple, uh, just frame them onto, maybe you have, I know, you know that seven day savers that has got the cotton skins as well as a 12 inch, uh, you know, uh, embroidery hook. I think that would work really well. Now, because uh, I know that my hand is just under eight inches in from uh, from top to bottom, so this is about yeah, I would say it's eight inches. Uh, it's not four inches, so that probably it's. I would say that this is around. Maybe it will kind of cut cut catch this something like this. But wouldn't that be amazing to just have it like that? That would be amazing. I think that would. And an embroidery hood means that you can display it at home. You can then, you know, paint it, embroider, add some elements. If you want to make it more Christmas, add some elements in here. Maybe you have gone for the one that is special, and that is packed full of stamps. And then, of course, with those stamps, you can bring in those elements into here, kind of link them together, add some winter flurries, some snowflakes as well. Add some sparkle if you want to. Now, if you want to go for this, uh, of course, one to one nine five zero is your item number. Thirteen pounds and ninety nine pence is the price, and you are saving three pounds. Now, of course, we are mentioning that we are in the middle of the five days of Christmas here at Hochanda. Here is more information about it. Welcome to Hachanda's five days of Christmas. Are you struggling for ideas or need a little extra creative assistance as you start your crafty preparations for Christmas 2020? From Thursday the 23rd of July at 6pm to Tuesday the 28th of July at 6pm, we'll be bringing you five days of Christmas crafting. Tune in and be inspired by Pink Ink, Sentimentally Yours, Clarity Stamp, John Next Door, La Blanche and many, many more as they help you get into the crafty Christmas spirit. Also, as an early Christmas treat from us to you, make a purchase of any item and you will automatically be given a £5 credit to spend against any purchase of £30 or more the following day. And you can do this every day throughout our event. So get ready for Christmas 2020 by tuning in to our five days of Christmas from the 23rd of July at 6pm. Well, um... I'm not Alex, but... <laughs> oh, it basically, I'm just loving it. It's the end of the day, and, and uh, our lovely Hannah, the director, she's absolutely gorgeous girl and amazing. Uh, you know, anyway, she, she's like, and cue, uh, cue Alex, and I'm like... 
I, you know, I know when I have to shut up. Uh, and then I went like, is Alex here? <laughs> Where is she? I'm here. Uh, anyway, you can, can you see the size of this panel? It's huge. Uh, shall I measure it up? Because I see, I measure everything with my body, uh, and this, this is a weird thing that I know. Uh, now this is about a meter, so from there, so that's one meter, and that I would say this is a three quarters of a meter. So roughly, you are getting one and three quarters, so so one seventy five more or less, and that is well, sorry about my microphone. That's over a meter in size. So this is a proper big, nice panel. Uh, it's quite handy to be able to measure things with your own body, with the hand and with the, you know, the meter size. Trust me, it's quite handy when you know when to get, like today. I didn't know what size was the panel. Now we know that it's over a meter and over a meter. Very accurate measuring, isn't it? Uh, but yes, just to give you a rough idea, I don't want to say, oh, it is absolutely a spot on a meter by something like this. No, you just want to know more or less how, how, how it is. Now, what it is, is a beautiful printed fabric. Now, this is cotton. This is a kind of quilting. I would say this is, this is quilting quality cotton that weight. Maybe a little bit, maybe I would say it's a little bit, um, I would say quilting, quilting quality and the, the medium weight of, of weave. In here we also have got all these different panels which make individual projects. I'm thinking they make lovely decorations. Imagine, I like multi-purpose things and not only in life but even also my projects for crafting. Thinking about, I'm thinking, now if I use a little bit of wadding and a little bit of calico, especially if you got to grab yourself silly one day special the other week, which was incredibly good value for money. But you know, that's if you don't, you might have something similar. You can then cut around into a circle, then you sew it together, you know, like a zigzag or a kind of satin stitch around the edges. Look at me, I know what a satin stitch is. I'm just shocked that I know. It's just, you know, it's that very t tight, you know, edge, a straight edge kind of thing. I think that's what a satin stitch is. Maybe it's not. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I think it is. If not a zigzag, something like that. And then, so that creates like a medallion in here, kind of a, kind of with a soft wording in the middle. Then you can add maybe some ribbon in here, and then you put that in the front of the card. So it's a very tactile, soft, beautiful card because you have decorated with beautiful colors. But also what it is, is something that immediately they can take out and put into the tree if they prefer to display. So that's something that then year after year, you know how it happens, you make a Christmas card, and they receive it, and then you know that that handmade card that take, took you maybe two, three hours to make ends up in the bin. I know, rude, but that's what happens. With it, if you do something like that for a Christmas card, then they have got something to hang in the tree or hang into the smaller tree or hang in the window or something. That is much more likely to be kept year after year because it becomes part of the Christmas decorations. It's more meaningful. It's because it kind of have got, has got that sort of more, oh well, you know, it, they spend a lot of time. Maybe it took you even less time than it would have taken to make a card, but you have got that, of course, the ability to do that. Now, I'm kind of go in here. Shall I keep coloring in? Because in this panel, you are getting, of course, the printed panel with all those 99 Christmas, but you also are getting the 30 zebra pens. Now, these zebra pens are gel-based. Then once that you heat set them, you can wash them. But one of the things I will say is that you are getting 30 of them. You are getting 20 of the color ones and then 10 of the metallics, five of the silver ones, five of the gold ones. But you know what? Uh, you are that the price of the color ones on their own, after their happy hour, they're going to be 48 pounds and 30 pence, I think. Now, that's the price that regular are just 20 of the color pens. Now, now 20 of them plus the 10 of the silver, uh, this, uh, five of the silver, five of the gold, plus the printer panel for 48 pounds and 64 pence, means that it is half price during this hour. This hour, the price will go up in about 10 minutes, but there is no warranty that the stocks last then you have got a saving of, well, half price, 48 pounds and 64 pence. 
And I don't know about you, but it is great to get a bargain, isn't it? It is great to get something like these pants because I was talking before to Molly and I was saying they are great pants. Even if you want to use them for just as gel pants, like kind of to color in paper, you can do that. The fact is that, of course, Haley uh, Smith, she loves, you know, fabric. She understands fabric. She's, just, she's like she says, you know, she, that's her thing. Now, she, research, she researches everything that she brings in. And I remember her telling me that she's kind of thinking, I love these pants because it's like, I love how fine they are. So for instance, this one is kind of a very bold. But if we go back to this one that we had at the very beginning, uh, is that okay, Hannah? More or less, that one? Yeah. So can you see how I start in the larger one? Now, can you say how in the fine line here, I can go so fine in here, the little dot in there, that's absolutely not a problem because it's courtesy of that ball end so fine not 0.5 of a millimeter it's absolutely stunning now if you want to go for this bundle your item number seven a zero four nine two one and that saving of 48 pounds and 64 i'm so proud of and then you have got the flexible can we do it again can we do it okay so let's go one of payment of yes and look at that saving there. And then if you want to flexify it, yeah, more or less. Uh, we need to practice a little bit more, don't we? Uh, well, I need to practice more. Seven and zero four and nine to one. Remember the flexibite if you want to uh, flexify it. Now, everything here you can find, of course, on the website. So including those amazing three-dimensional kind of pockets things and they're really clever now maybe you are thinking you know what I don't care about savings I just want the silver marker uh, the silver metallic pens well you still have got a saving a massive saving you're just paying 14 pounds and 99 pence so it works out at a pound 50 basically per pen which is a really nice uh, price for fabric markers but you can maybe say well I want a 20 color zebra pens which is 28 pounds and 30 pence there uh, now all you want maybe the seven day savers uh, including that of course I love that embroidery bundle uh, because it has got a 12 inch and that is a nice big size to embroider with and I, it's not that often that you see it and of course not only to actually let me rephrase that maybe for embroidery 12 inch is a little big i would say because sometimes you have got you have a nice and done but i will get it to frame my artwork afterwards because that size is phenomenal especially if you want to go to the next item that we are gonna have a look at in real life because that 12 inch and definitely you could imagine bringing those snowflakes in here imagine putting the embroidery hope and then maybe bring in sparkly paints maybe you bring oh I know what I would do here I would add so the multi-surface paint from uh, pink ink a little bit of maybe blues and turquoises and teals and so they're kind of very wintry scene and then I would bring sea beads you know the seed beads uh, the ones that are really descent the tiny ones and then I would add little sparkles of them around here so the light would hit them and radiate different colors and different kind of shines of color I think that would be amazing there you have got a pick and mix option which if you are new to Hochan that means that we let you create whichever collection you want you can pick any four and if you want if you are some like sometimes I'm a bit well I'm always very a little bit boring but you know kind of I like the same thing like if I like something I really like that thing so I like sometimes four of the same thing or maybe two of the same thing for instance the deer standing up look how gorgeous they are now there are limited stocks so if you want that one please do check out your muskets now we have got of course look also limited stock I know I have got you know that I know what you like I know what I like and it's pretty much always the same thing which is scary isn't it yes it is um, but the thing is that there's something very universal about the the deer there is something powerful there's something peaceful if you ever see a, a deer like I remember um, in, in the house I used to live uh, which was in Surrey uh, not in the posh side of Surrey in the dodgy side of Surrey actually yes there is a dodgy side of Surrey um, 
It, it was, we had a kind of a garden and the, and the deer sometimes would come up and sometimes when we see them, they have got that presence, don't they? That peaceful, that kind of, you can feel them actually how they breathe and it's just something incredibly, it's an encounter, isn't it? It's just, it's just kind of, it didn't make sense to see them there and it's just, it's just so beautiful. We call one of them Deary and then of course we had Foxy and then we had even Badgy because we had, we had badgers as well and then what we do, well of course we had Wasabi as well so it was just like a family of, uh, and we, once and I'm not joking, sorry I'm going in a tangent but it's a really cool tangent. Uh, it's just because it really makes sense. We had a deer we had a fox and we had the cat and wasabi in the garden and they were in a circle all three walking around like this like kind of checking each other out and it was a dance between a, a you know a fox a deer and a cat and we i wanted to write a story but i don't know what i would say so just that so you know yeah. uh, it was beautiful it was really special. but as is santa and of course we have got santa's sleigh in here it's still available then we have got of course the candle as well now it is limited so if you want yours you know what to do and then we have got a ho 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 uh, or we have got as i say oh 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 <laughs> uh it depends or hot 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 missing the team uh it depends whichever uh now of course remember you can color them they are quilting weight so you can then once you have them you can maybe use them for cushions maybe you can do a little quilt at the center of the panel in them 13 pounds and 99 pence is the price for four of them and remember you get to choose whichever four don't forget to check out your baskets because remember all the deals the prices will go up in about five minutes so you do not want to miss out and it's this amazing bargains one two one nine five zero is the item number for the vintage printed cotton fabric panels and of course you have got that saving of three pounds now it's been a pleasure to for uh, you know that you kept me company uh, even for, through the screens and of course we will see you tomorrow morning at seven o'clock but why not to stay tuned in tune to Hochanda because we have got hours through the night uh, thank you so much and um, where Christmas continues here at Hochanda with five days of Christmas Christmas. Uh, indeed it does. Uh, Pink Ink Designs Christmas One Day Special incredible products. Do stay tuned for that. Then we have our Crafty Devils Happy Hour with Bargains Galore. Now, it's really good to have your company and to let you know that there have been a few little changes here at Chanda. For a short while, we weren't able to ship over to America, so that meant that you were missing out on all of those wonderful goodies that we're able to bring to you here at Chanda. Well, good news, we have resumed those orders coming to you overseas. COVID-19 meant that we couldn't fly them out to you, but of course that has changed. But something I do need to let you know is that sadly we've had to increase that post and packing per item. So it's gone up 